No sound? Yeah, I realized this, but hello. Happy Wednesday. I, 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 I woke up. That's usually the goal on a Wednesday for me to wake up. Can't hear the girlies just yet, but right now I have, of course, Donut, who's going to be playing more Ace Attorney. Wait, you know what? I should just kick on the music now. Look, there, there he is, music. So we got Donut here, who's going to be playing more <laughs> Ace Attorney, and we, then we are going to play. Yeah, we. I'm just here because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I like it. No, just J.K. I will be playing along with you. And then uh, we also have Ray here, which is really cool. Glad she was able to join us. Hello. Hello. We got music. <laughs> yeah. And we got the girlies. So I'm gonna... Hopefully this transitions properly. Oh my gosh, perfect. Wow. Okay. Wow. Ace Attorney. <laughs> Phoenix Wright. Trilogy. Yeah. Trials and Tribulations. Oh, I don't know why I said T-O-T, it's T-A-T, whatever. I'm not even gonna change the stream title, <laughs> screw it, I can't even be bothered right now. <laughs> uh, Alright, lazy. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what, I'm, now I'm, now I am. I'm gonna be judging you for the- <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. never mind, I'm changing it. I'm changing it, cause now I'm self-conscious. Yeah, you, you better be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. What do you think episode two is gonna be about? From from they what you see. Something. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. I, I forgot that we had oh, the whole right. entire thingy. What is it? What? The introduction. Oh right, that I briefly read through. Yeah. They stole something. Yeah. <laughs> they stole something, but whatever. Oh yeah, and they were showing that was flying somehow. It's it's like what's his face from from Barry Big Circus. Have, Max. Yes, Max, Max. Maximilian something. What was his name? <laughs> Maximilian. Maximilian Galactica. Galactic? Galactica. Wow. You <laughs> remember so much. Yes, Maximilian Galactica and his ability I don't, I don't to fly. I do his real name. It's like Billy Joe or something. <laughs> Billy Bob Joe or something. But Billy Bob John, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It's just, yeah, when I see the dude actually flying, I'm like, whoa, this is the real deal right here. It's him, except he perfected flight. Yeah. Like, even the, sure. our, our little girly is Maya and Pearl, if you see them. They're in yeah, there, And they too. look so determined. They look stoked. <laughs> who, who do you think this guy is? Did you get any spoilers on this dude yet? Uh... The oh. only thing I know about him is a coffee mug. Okay. You know what? That's that's perfect. That's all you need to know about him. I don't know his name. I forgot it. I'm sure I saw it mentioned somewhere, but I just remember seeing it, that coffee mug like slide into view and he just drinks out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Honestly, that's, that's great. I'm glad that's all you know about him because that's all you need to know. Honestly. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I just, I just call him the coffee dude. The coffee dude. <laughs> coffee. All right, stolen turnabout. The time is 1 a.m. Beep. That's doing the beeps for me. It is doing the beeps Beep. for you. <laughs> Detective, we made it. Phew, what a relief. Glad the jewel is still safe. Oh, you said it, pal. It must have been our rock solid security that scared him off. Would you mind opening the safe just to double check? Just to double check. Did, did you get the code that time? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Mask the mask. Ah! We've been had! Oh, up front! The guards! Turn on the searchlights! Wait, how did I do this last time? Okay. Better luck like now! Tackle! Tackle like you're a <laughs> One Piece character. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must be leaving now. It's blasting off again. 
we shall meet again when the next moon is full. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs too much. He does laugh too much. <laughs> okay, October 11th, 3.24 p.m. Rights and Company Law Offices. Uh, do you want to be Maya? <laughs> yeah, I'll be Maya. Hey, Nick, get a load of this. Hey, are you listening to me? You can clean the toilet later. This is important. Whoa, 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 cleaning the toilet is super important. <laughs> He's like over oh. here with a plunger and like a brush. Like someone clogged the toilet? It, it wasn't, wasn't Maya? me. Probably. <laughs> what are you freaking out about now? <laughs> Today will be the last time you talk to me, that's why. Huh? <laughs> We're about to hit the big time. Big time? And what do you mean by we? You don't mean you and me are. Ha! <laughs> don't be silly. I'm talking about me and Pearly, of course. Oh no. Um. <laughs> I, I I can I guess I can voice Pearly. <laughs> like I'm not going that high. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, you know who would be perfect? Ray. Where are you? <laughs> Come, Come right back. here. <laughs> yeah. Voice pearly for us. Okay. Hello. A boom. <laughs> Stop. Oh, you're laughing already. <laughs> that <one> word. <laughs> Hi. It's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Nick. Girls, you haven't changed a bit. Wait, what are you doing here anyway? Hee <laughs> hee. Haven't you heard, Mr. Nick? Here, take a look at this! <laughs> What's this? Some kind of poster? Oh. Treasure exhibition. <laughs> Secret- Oh gosh, it's I am! <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought this would be back? Rain Village, isn't that- That's right, it's our hometown! Pearly and mine, that is. The broken jar. Broken sacred urn. <laughs> What's this about treasures from the boonies? Ha 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 ha. Very funny. You can laugh all you want. But you'll be singing another tune tonight. Tonight? What, what about tonight? Oh! The, 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 the treasures of... Koran? I think it's... Kurain? But... Kurain? Okay. Yeah. The Treasures of Kurain exhibit doesn't actually start until next week, but... The prom... Motor... Yeah, mm-hmm. The, <laughs> the promoter sent us some special VIP entry passes. Ew. That's why I dressed up extra special today. What do you think, Nick? You look the same. <sighs> <laughs> Maya, different day. <laughs> <laughs> this young lady here is Maya Fay, the younger sister of Mia Fay, my friend and mentor. I first I first met her two years ago. Oh no! I was working on the case surrounding Mia's death, and ever since then, she's stuck to my side by like glue. I've been the one who's been keeping this law office afloat from behind the scenes. Sure, me. Sure you have. I've been carrying. <laughs> Actually, that's just the cover for her true identity. In reality, she's a spirit medium and a bit of a shady character. <gasps> she's called like a set, <laughs> like a little eighteen-year-old shady. <laughs> she, she shady. Oh. Hey, who are you calling shady? You obviously. <laughs> And this little girl is Pearl Fay, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium and training herself. I know I'm a bit young, but I'm... <clears throat> Fuck it. Uh, I know I'm a bit young, but I want to help in any way I can, Mr. Nick. <laughs> oh. Uh, someone do Pearl, I gotta go. I'll be right back. Okay, sounds good. 
A Crane village is the home of the mysterious Crane ch ch channeling technique. Blech. Maya here is the daughter of the Crane school of channeling's master. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power with my own eyes. It's a real thing, all right. Earth and neck, how long are you going to make the two gorgeous women like us wait? Um. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Neck, I can't wait any longer. I want to see the exhibit. You broke the urn. <laughs> she did break the urn. <laughs> it's okay, it's all pieced up together. <laughs> Looks like I don't get a choice here. Might as well head on out. Poster. Add it to the court record. It's important, apparently. It is important. October 11th, 718, Lordly Taylor Main Exhibit Hall. Lord Lordly Taylor, the city's fanciest and most expensive department store. Oof. Treasure exhibit, huh? I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. Wow, this is awesome! Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. Not impressed. <laughs> so mean. It all depends on how you display it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, they have a dusty old hanging scroll that was in V Manor storeroom. Oh yeah, I remember scribbling on it when I was a little girl. The junk. <laughs> <laughs> on a family heirloom? Say, Nick. The person in charge of this exhibition is waiting for us in the basement warehouse. Why in the basement? Oh, okay, right, it's whatever. so suspicious. Oh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Maybe I should put the title Shady Characters to someone else instead. <laughs> Maybe. I guess we should go and say hello. I explore first. Yeah, explore. I think I remember this old folding screen here. I'm pretty sure it was an important piece of evidence. In that murder case that happened in Korean Village. Is that bullet hole still there? This folding screen is the greatest of all the spirit channeling secrets. The six leaf Korean secret writings folding screen. It's so secret, why is it the most prominent thing in the exhibit? <laughs> <laughs> do you think we need the. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Oh, okay. That, isn't that the same folding screen that was shot through? It, that's what he suspects it is, but I was curious if the bullet hole is still there. Still there, yeah. <laughs> Piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Let's see. Here's the title in English 108 Ways to Save Money. Pretty sure the number has gone up since the last time I saw it. Has it? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what it was in the previous game. Well, we're always looking for new ways, you know? Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. What's with this big cushion? It's just lying around with nothing on it. Hmm. Well, it must be for the greatest treasure of all. Greatest treasure? Is there something like that? Huh? Why, of course there is. Right, Pearly? Oh! Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm really buying the confidence. <laughs> Yeah, I'll bet it would be- it would really take your breath away. Blow the socks off of you, Phoenix. <laughs> They're just a bunch of old urns. Are these really treasures, too? Of course they are. This is a treasure exhibit, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so. The soul it takes to be a treasure is age. No wonder nobody likes museums. <laughs> oh no, that's not true, <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> true. <laughs> All right, a model of the village. Oh, Mystic Maya, look! I can't believe it. Ah, it's so cute. It's a little diorama of Korea. That's kind of weird because isn't it like all your houses? Okay, it's a little diorama of Korean Village. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> He's so <I'm> weird. <laughs> But somehow it seems to reek of dreariness. Oh, he's so awful! Wow. <laughs> Why is he so mean in this one? He's so mean! Oh, Mystic Maya, it's your house! It even says Fae Manor on it. Oh, 
wonder if the inside is the same. You do a perfect pearl. Why am I doing it? Because, because it's fun. <laughs> okay. I got you. I got you. I mean, you, you can be a witness if you want later. Wait, well, you no, know, that's a trial no. case. Never mind. Yikes! <laughs> I'm You're right. with your range there. I kind of want to add the famous in front of it. Don't do it, man. I would have said do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Maya. They might get mad. Who? Who's they? They, you know, they, them. They, them. Them. I think them, we got they. everything. Did welcome back, everything? by the way. <laughs> yes, welcome back. Alright. Basement warehouse. Ooh. Ooh. October 11th, Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse. Yep, this is a basement warehouse, alright. This, this place is scary. Sound like a monster could jump out at any time. Rawr. Don't be scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. Please don't. Oh, 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 Mr. Right. <laughs> Hi, who's this? Ah, a monster. You were right. Huh? A monster. Oh, it's oh, you. It's her. Oh, yeah. Good She's evening. from Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> You know what, you you're right. <laughs> it's good to see you again. I forgot. Oh no, wait. Adrian Andrews, yes. I think. Yes. You, you. I know you. Haha. <laughs> nice to see you again, too, little miss. Ah! Uh, hello. Is she a friend of yours, Nick? And how do you know her, Pearly? Oh, well, you were. Mm, you were. We were kind of kidnapped, you know? Yeah, you were starving. <laughs> Maybe a little dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Adrian Andrews. I'm in charge of the promotion and planning for this treasure exhibit. Why are you meeting me in the basement? Honestly, she got out of jail pretty quick. <laughs> she's she's on probation. Oh, yeah, but for good behavior. <laughs> I'm also responsible for the security arrangements. Oh, you're you're in charge of a lot of stuff. Oh, um, Nice to meet you. Adrian sure has changed since we last met. So this is the warehouse. The valuable exhibit items are still stored away in here. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't Seems like kind that of it's all quiet. It is. Where's the music? <laughs> it's a security camera. It's trained on the warehouse door. Burr. <laughs> it's set up to take a picture of anyone that enters or exits the door. An ounce of... Prevention is worth a pound of cure, they say. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This computer, it looks like it's hooked up to the security camera above. Mm, and that means what? It means technology. The camera is set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in, in or out of the storeroom. This is giving me a PTSD from the first game. And then the data from the camera gets uploaded to this computer here. That's what, man, that's gonna be important. Yeah, it doesn't like, it? Oh, we have a photo up from the security camera yeah. that we were just now presenting. Right, because <laughs> you, this is what reminds me of like in the first game, like with with what's his face, Will Powers, in in the studio, where mm -hmm. old bag is literally sleeping in the front, but it takes pictures of people going in and out. Yeah, it's that all over again. <laughs> I see. That's some pretty high tech stuff. Yeah, sure, high tech. High tech. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. That, that's a lot of words coming out of your mouth, Maya. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry. Okay. So I'm, I'm on team. Like I'm on team ladder. Okay. <laughs> it's a step ladder. Holy crap! You know, but the first time that they had this this uh, this conversation too was that same case with the studio. <laughs> nah, nah, it's on purpose. It looks like a part of a big signboard. All I can read on it is the burr. Burr. Aha, burr. I've got it. What it's maybe it's supposed to say, hamburger. Why would anyone write hamburger that big? You know, don't don't question that, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something. Oh. 
I kind of doubt it. Aha, I got it. Maybe it said spaghetti. Okay, hold on. Somebody oh, else yeah. voice Maya. <laughs> that's not even the right letter. Okay. Why are you talking about food? Oh, wait, that's normal for you. Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could, it could be spaghetti. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said spaghetti festival. What do you think? Okay to me. Besides, spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your reasoning. Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? Looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. Really? Let's go in. I want to take a look. Oh, I'm sorry. Unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in there. Did you hear that, Nick? We're unauthorized personnel. <laughs> Why are you telling me that? She's so sassy. Gosh, there's... Oh, there's a lot, okay. Statue. Mystic Maya! Take a... Take a look next door! Next to the door! <laughs> that... That's Mystic Amy, right? Yes, that's the statue of the woman who invented the Korean channeling technique, Amy Fay. This statue is on loan from one of the training halls of the Fay Branch family. In fact, it just arrived this morning. Oh, it's important. No. <laughs> What's that creepy looking thing she's holding? Don't ask me. How should I know? You're, you're part of the family, Maya. <laughs> well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue. That thing is the Korean Shichishito. Shichishito. I come back to you like struggling. Shichishito. Shichishito. Oh, that's awful. Shichishito. It's a Shichishito. <laughs> Not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Is that important? Aww, oh, phooey. oh, right, you're Maya. You're yeah, back. <laughs> I am back. I wanted to cut something. How would you cut something with that? Mm, carefully. <laughs> <laughs> what are you eyeing me for? I'm gonna cut you, Nick. Please. Stop, stop, stop. Organic. Organi. Organi. Organic bird. Oh, it says organic. Bird. 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 Organic. Oh. No, it doesn't, Nick. <laughs> it says organize. You can't see the last two letters. Well, I said organic, so I, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess no one could read it either because this place is a mess. Yeah, you must feel right at home, huh? Man. <laughs> they're wow. So, they're so sassy with each other in this game. Okay. I think. I got everything, probably. Was there anything in particular I missed aside from the the introduction of sword? Uh, we got the statue in the court record. Oh, cool. Okay. She 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 still. Okay. Talk. Adrian Andrews. It really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? She just introduced herself, Maya. What, what do you want from me? <laughs> you have a girly friend <laughs> and you didn't tell me? Well, why are you freaking out on me? What? I, I, I just thought it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up. That's all. Jeez. No. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, uh... <laughs> Mystic Musso. Or oh, wait, I said it backwards. <laughs> Mystic okay. Maya. <clears throat> you shouldn't let him off the hook so easily. Oh my god, giving Pearl the baritone <laughs> voice. <laughs> Please, Maya, don't say anything that'll needle Pearl's further. That's right, she ships it. <laughs> Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. 
It it was something that happened seven months ago. Wow. She really wasn't You're... in there very long at all. Yeah. Okay. She... All right. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case. Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. Did that escape your memory, Nick? Well, I mean, I was hoping you would remember that. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I quit being a manager and started this job. I thought you were arrested. What I do you thought? So I guess they let her go because she told the truth and she had a light sentence. I guess so. Mm. Like I guess if it's not murder, they just get released immediately. <laughs> well, if anything, she did get accused for what tampering of the the crime scene. Yeah, but aside from that, yeah. Wow, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews. If it wasn't for us. No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. She's such a cool person. Oof, that's a relief. Lordly Taylor. Lordly. Lordly. I'm really impressed, Miss Andrews. Handling a huge exhibition like this must be very tiring. I don't think I like the word lordly. I don't like it well, either. Hmm. Well, Lordly Taylor is celebrating their 200th anniversary this year. The works on display in the main exhibition hall are worthy of the finest museums. Woohoo! So Did you hear that, Pearls? The finest museums! Yes, I did. It's <laughs> really wonderful. <laughs> so this basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? Of course it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures here. The security guards are all high, very are all very highly trained as well. That sounds good. So what is it with that face she's making? Oh look, it's a bird. I mean, it's already eight o'clock. <laughs> Have you all eaten yet? Um, well, actually, I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the twelfth floor. Why don't we all dine together? Now there's music. I like the sound of that. Dine? It sounds so fancy. I'll have the kids lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Just going through puberty, guys. She is. Pearly, it's dinner, not lunch. Why did you go for it? And really eat your fill with a kid's dinner. Wow. <gasps> okay, in that case, one kid's dinner for me. <laughs> Shall I head upstairs then? Oh, we are such cute little girlies. I bet Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix, not a cute girlie. <laughs> After that pleasant evening, all that remained was to wait for the ex ex exhibition's opening. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. None of us could have imagined that the very next day something terrible would happen. She did. <gasps> that would be so sad if they killed off Adrian Andrews, though. Uh oh, that wait. Would be sad. That's spoilers, but I mean, like, that would be so sad if it was. What? <laughs> what? I don't. Oh, think... I was just talking nonsense. I don't. I don't uh -oh. know anything about. She doesn't actually what? die. I'm just saying that I'm like. Oh. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. I was like, um. <laughs> and it's sorry. like, no, no, no. She didn't actually die. It's just. <laughs> I don't know if that was a spoiler. That it's not. That... I don't even know. No, it's a relief. Stop. It's a relief. Okay. 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 <laughs> October 12th, 10.09 a.m. Right in company law offices. Nick, this is terrible! What's terrible? What the? You're cleaning the toilet again? Oh, you clogged it! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I never knew you were such a toilet freak! Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn on the TV. Have a TV. Well, why, why is she getting all strong like that? Trying to go We've got an update TV. on the recent treasure heist. Based on clues found at the scene of the crime, authorities have announced that they believe it was the work of the renowned phantom thief, Mask the Mask. M mask the Mask? According to a spokesperson, Lordly Taylor received a threat letter some days ago. This is the fifth heist by this phantom thief who only targets rare treasures. L L Lordly Taylor. 
Well, Nick, what are you gonna do? Serves him right. <laughs> Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet! Predator? Lordly Taylor? You don't think? Yes! Now get up, Nick! It was stolen! My mask, the mask! You're supposed to pronounce the star. Okay, mask, star, the mask. <laughs> 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 Our most valuable treasure! Oh, right. You, you have treasures. The Korean sacred urn was stolen! What? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I need to talk to this plant. Charlie. Quite decorative plant. When she was alive, Mia really loved it. She even went so far as to make it our mascot. It must be nice to be a plant, being able to just sit in the sun and photosynthesize. Yeah. I suck at taking care of plants, by the way. <laughs> what? Oh no, did your mint die? <laughs> no, I, I tried growing some other things and they're just... not... I just... I just suck at taking care of them. No, <laughs> I, I'm in the same boat. I've been trying to, like, grow more plants, but, uh, it's not working. Everything that I've been trying to, like, seed, like, doing little seedlings, they've all died. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just I, impatient. I, 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 I'm now, like, hell-bent. I, I bought lemongrass again. This is, like, my third time buying lemongrass, <laughs> and I am, like, hell-bent on keeping that thing alive. I don't know how to, but I, I'm going to keep that thing alive. <laughs> Hey, Nick, no time for daydreaming. Ray. 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 She's not here. That's right, Mr. Nick. No time for daydreaming. Oh, man. Until I find that urn, they're not going to give me a second of peace. <laughs> no, we're going to badger you. It's my desk. I don't get to use it much, so the dust bunnies are starting to mount their assault. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should wipe them out with a few well-placed swipes with my cleaning rag. Hey, Nick, are you trying to make me upset? Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Nick, if you're worried about cleaning, please leave it up to me. At least Pearls is good at cleaning. Ugh, I guess I go better. <laughs> I'd better go find that urn. Yeah, I'm not I'm not finding that urn right now. I wanna... <laughs> I need to look at these <laughs> difficult-looking legal books. <laughs> they mock you. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do mock me. Actually, I've neglected them for so long that they're also covered in a layer of dust. <laughs> Maybe I should actually try reading them once in a while. Maybe I wouldn't be like so freaked out every time in a trial. Hey, Nick, this is no time for reading. Yes, Mr. Nick, <laughs> you can always read later. No, I, I need to know. I guess I won't be getting any... No. <laughs> An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it a long time ago. Maya watched it recently and said she cried all night too. Which, I guess, is why it's back up on the wall. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Oh, I wish you knew what the movie yet. was. Hmm. There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. The chain is getting so rich that they bought a whole chunk of the town next over. That's Jeez. crazy. Okay. Oh, gosh. And started building a huge theme park. It's going to be called Gatewaterland. And to think that two years ago, it was just a little hotel for businessmen. Hmm. I like how we're getting lore on the Gatewater Hotel. They expanded. They did expand. Sacred urn. Refresh my memory a little. What's the sacred urn? It's only the most supported treasure in Korean Village. That's all. Look! It's right there on this poster. It's still broken. <laughs> I don't know how it's still together. <laughs> don't you remember what's inside? That urn contains a very- well, it's kind of- it's probably gone it's now, kind, but- It's not there. It's not there anymore, Maya. <laughs> the urn contains a very important soul. Namely, the soul of mystic Ami Fei, the founder of the Korean channeling technique. I not even spelled the You guys didn't fix the name. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. Right, Pearly? Oh, yes. That, that, that's right. Culprit. <laughs> Hold up. Oh god, did she just you, you notice? Probably... <laughs> I, I thought the urn had the name Ami on it, written on it. Now it says 
a.m. Hmm. Any idea how that happened, Pearly? Yeah, any idea how, Pearly? Huh? Um, I... Oh, well... Tee hee! <laughs> <laughs> there are some things best left unsolved when you say Mr. Nick. Oh, God. Yeah, don't, don't rope me into this. That's right. One year ago, there was a murder in Karain Village, Maya's hometown. The sacred urn. That's a lot. Blue. <laughs> It turned out to be an important clue in that case. I think it was supposed to be like all shaded in, I guess. But it it does look different. Looks very blue. Yeah, yeah. One of the treasures of current village is supposedly priceless. It looks like a plain old pot. Plain old pot. What, what to do? <laughs> okay, the toilet is shinier than the judge's head. So let's see what's <laughs> next. What's wrong with you, Nick? <laughs> What do you mean? He's been just cleaning the toilet the entire time they've been talking to him. He's making sure his throne is nice and clean. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your beloved Mystic Maya's treasure has been stolen. Doesn't that even bother you? No, not at all. But I thought the urn was the village's treasure, so I don't see how. The village is Mystic Maya! She's the future of master of the current school channeling. You know what I'm talking about, Mr. Nick? I won't let you. I won't let you say you don't. Uh, okay, okay, I do. So what am I supposed to do about it? Isn't it obvious? Go and find the bad guy who did this! It was Max the Mask. Yeah! And get the secret urn back! But, but I'm not a detective. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> oh god, Pearl. <laughs> She's so angry. Oh, that has nothing to do with this. If you're a real gentleman, you would find it in your... Uh, hold on. <laughs> you would find it for your beloved Mystic Maya. Man, oh man, there's no winning against Pearl's fairy tale image of love. So, what's the name of this bad guy again? Mask Star The Mask <laughs> Nick. Make a note of it. Mask Star The Mask. <laughs> ah, it was terrible. I was arrested and everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were. One year ago, the murder in Crane Village. A man was killed during one of Maya's spirit channelings. And this urn wound up being the key piece of evidence that proved her innocence. Um, Mr. Nick? Would you mind not telling Mystic Maya about that? You promised, remember? You said you wouldn't tell anyone I broke the urn. Well, you, you just said, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Now I remember, this urn used to say Ami on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh Until Pearl accidentally broke it into a million pieces. I don't even know how she put it together. <laughs> Lucky that she didn't like cut herself or anything. Right? She tried to secretly fix it, let's just say it didn't work out so well. Sorry, I'm not so good at arts and crafts. Spelling, either. Oof. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> anyway, this is how her gluing project turned out. She put the pieces together wrong, and now instead of Ami, it says, I am. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. I can't believe no one's noticed this until now, a whole year later. I can't, help I can't believe it myself. All right, we we can we can go now. Oh no no wait wait wait! Oh shucks, wrong thing. I need to present this. Oh yeah, okay, you got to. So, what what do you think about this? <laughs> hmm, what about it, Pearly? Um, I, I'm not certain. What do you think, Mr. Nick? I'm a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe three heads aren't better than one. No word. <laughs> no goodness. I'll do. 
I wonder if they respond to him on purpose like that because he's done it so much. <laughs> it's like, what do you want from us, Phoenix? Right. Uh, all right. No, let's see if we can find some clues that might lead us to the bad guy. But it doesn't look like anything has been disturbed. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. Hmm, <laughs> bad guy, huh? Hey, you can't poke around here, pal. Wait a minute, that voice. Oh no, not him again. Is it the office? Yes. <laughs> it's you. And I'm the one who should be saying not again. Why is it that every time something bad happens, you always show up, pal? I should be asking you that. Aren't there any other detectives? That, that is true. <laughs> no, I should be asking you that. What are you doing around here? Hanging around here. Around here. Here, hang you up. <laughs> hey, I asked you first, why are you here any? Alright, alright, we got it. Why don't you two kiss and make up already? Oh, oh. Oh. Um, hello. It's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective. Oh, it's you, little missy. Um, uh. Actually, my name is Gumshoe. Detective Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> now is a good chance for you to try to remember it right. And if it's too long for you, you can just call him Dick. Oh, okay. It's good to see you again, Mr. Detective Dick. Oh, um, yeah. Good to see you again, too, I guess. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe. <laughs> um, Mr. Detective Nick, can you tell us? <clears throat> Can you tell us about what happened here? Oh, you're trying to remember my name. Atta girl. Um, it's just, it's Gumshoe, okay? <laughs> anyway, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. I know about that. Oh, well, well the criminal's name is Mask Star the Mask. <laughs> <laughs> I know about that too. Detective, can't you tell us something other than that? Uh, well, I guess I sort of kind of owe you guys, in a way. The crime occurred last night at around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know that? We got an emergency phone call from a guard at the scene of the crime, pal. He said the urn was just stolen. The scene of the crime? You mean here, right? Wrong. That urn was being kept under careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse, huh? Um, so who was guarding the basement warehouse? That guy! It's all his fault that the thief got away, pal! He solves one case and gets a swelled head thinking that he's an ace detective. A ace detective? Not ace attorney? <laughs> Hey, Detective Gumshoe, how about this mask? Mask. <laughs> the mask. <laughs> Is he famous? What? You're joking, right, Nick? Mask star the mask is the hottest thing since sliced bread. Sometimes he appears as a museum guard. Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear known to surprise unsuspecting victims. But underneath those disguises is... The true mask starred the mask! <laughs> so he's some kind of master of disguise, huh? And he only goes after the finest works of art, pal. Last night was his fifth heist. If Lord Lee Taylor had only cooperated, I could have caught him this time. What? Then you knew he was planning on stealing the sacred urn? Of course I did. The guy always sends his calling card before he steals something calling card, huh? They mentioned that on TV. Ace Detective. So why do you call him an Ace Detective anyway? That's what he calls himself, pal. I didn't make it up. So, what's he like? Well, like I told you, Mask Star the Mask has made five heists so far. On the fourth heist, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Wow, that's impressive! All by himself? 
Yeah, I gotta admit, pal, maybe he really is as good as he says. Every time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we send our men on a stakeout. But none of us have ever gotten so much as a glimpse of the guy. But Mr. Ace Detective was able to retrieve the stolen treasure from the thief. Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. So he's down in the basement warehouse, huh? Calling card. So what's this calling card? Here it is, but don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? What's this mark on the front? That's masked star the masked signature emblem, pal. You could say it's his mark. All of his calling cards have got it on them. They didn't mention that on the news flash. We're withholding that detail from the public for operational reasons. The only way you can tell if if a calling card is real or not is by this emblem. The emblem is top secret. That makes sense. When you get famous, they're always imitators. Mr. Nick, if you could work a little harder, maybe you can have your own copycat someday. Oh, um, uh, thanks, I guess. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. Here, take a look at my attorney's badge. <laughs> oh, are you still showing that cheap little thing off? Wow. No. A real man keeps his mouth shut and carries a suave police badge, pal. Wow, you're not gonna show it to me. <laughs> Do I have to examine anything anymore? Nah, it looks like it's an update. Okay. Bye. Basement. Burr. October 12th, Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse. No matter how many times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. I see a bent shichi shito. <laughs> shi -chi shito. <laughs> That's probably because it's air conditioned to protect the art pieces, you know. Oh boy. Welcome to my private little banquet of chaos. Huh? What the heck does that mean? <laughs> I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please make yourself at home. Is your eye okay? Like holding that up? With a it's never mind. Wrong eye, like eyebrow muscles. <laughs> uh, uh, who, who are you anyway? Silence! <laughs> <laughs> now I see it's all becoming clear. Uh, ooh, what do you see? Zvadi! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium, neither very advanced at their trade. I'm gonna break your nose. <laughs> so oh my god, your nose is- Am I wrong? I won my cases. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yikes! That's scary! How did he know that? Or how did you know that? How, you say? The universal skeptic would say the how is nothing but a question of why. I am a traveler of both time and space and a swimmer of dreams. What is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of it. I don't know either, Maya. <laughs> Without Going through further one ear. ado, let me fulfill what should be the first duty of any gentleman. And introduce myself. The name is at me. Look at me. L look at me. Look. Okay. I hate your name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ace Detective. Oh, um... Hi. <laughs> Don't let him intimidate you, Nick! Stand up and show him what you're made of! Err, um... The name's Wright. Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, title drop. I'm Maya Faye, Ace Spirit Medium. <laughs> and I'm... 
Oh, she's dying. <laughs> Pearls, dying. <laughs> Pearls, are you okay? <laughs> Pearls. <laughs> and I'm Pearl Faye. Sorry, I was in mid drag. <laughs> I'm Miss Maya's cousin, and um, the spirit medium Ace the parent apprentice. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> well then, shall we begin our little game? No! <laughs> game? Why does the phrase one short of a baker's doesn't come to mind with this guy? <laughs> I'm an attorney. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't be more helpful. But I have no interest, save for that of finding evidence against my arch rival. Who's your arch rival? Nah, it's okay. Nick is just a bit of a piddling evidence hog. That's his defense style. Okay, Maya, what the heck? I thought we were like... <laughs> Are we on the same team or not? A piddling ev evidence hog, you say? In that case, I'd simply be wasting my breath. Yeah, I guess you're right. Wait, we can't go against each other, Maya, alright? <laughs> Thanks, Maya. Why couldn't you have said I was a rival and not a piddling evidence hog? Jeez. There's so much to look at. It's too much to look at. <laughs> Sir Lawyer, please refrain from such crude <laughs> behavior. <Just> shut up. <laughs> w what do you mean? This criminal is an artiste! The crime scene is the canvas upon which he paints. Oh gosh, I, I hate you, man. <laughs> Only I, Ace and Detective at me, have an eye which is educated enough to read the signs. Did you translate that for me, Nick? It means he's got a big stick up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He pretty much said, don't touch anything, amateurs. Amateurs. <laughs> if there's something you wish to know, you have but to ask at me. I know everything there is to know about my rival, Mask Star Damask. What do I do now? Do you have any top secret information? Stuff that only a real crime buff would know? Think about what to ask while I listen to what Mr. Ace Detective has to say. So will it be different? Okay. Oh I wow! See, I he see just how locks it is. you out from everything. I see how it is. Luke at me. Luke <laughs> at me. <laughs> um. So are you really as famous as you say? Because I've never heard of you. You're not famous, so I haven't heard of you. <gasps> oh. Of course. For a lawyer, you have a rather shocking lack of knowledge about the world. So you do have a second eyeball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea anyone was left in the city that had not heard of me. Look at me. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh. I and Mass Sergeant mm. Mass Arch Enemy, the Ace Detective Luke at me. <laughs> at this moment, there are two mighty figures which loom large over this grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of the darkness, the other, the angelic cherubs of light. Boy, now I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I have been personally on the heels of this villain since his first crime. After learning this criminal's patterns, I thwarted his very latest loads of larceny. You have to, like, put so many... Never mind. So I even <laughs> returned the target of his tyranny, the portrait of Medina, to the crime scene. And I did it all by myself. I took it back from Mask Star to Mask. With my brawny mind and my brilliant muscles. You have muscles? <laughs> brawny? Yeah, they mentioned it in the news, in the great people around town segment. They said that the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. Well, <laughs> compared to the treasure that I retrieved for them, it's not much. Though, in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. Mask. Oh, tell us what you know about Mask Star to Mask, and keep it simple, please. Like, speak English. 
lying about how I have devoted my life to thwarting his dastardly deeds. Last night, here in the bowels of this store, we were locked in a most glorious battle. Bowels of this store. Okay. <laughs> I see. Huh? Hang on a second. You were here last night? Here? In Lordly Taylor? Naturally, wherever that mask goes, you will find at me laying his elegant traps. <laughs> Elegant traps? More like the mask out elegance to you and made a beautiful getaway. No elegance. But this time I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. I wonder if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. Night of the crime. Um, can you tell us exactly what happened here last night? But of course. After all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. Flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. No! <laughs> I first received the request for my services 20 days ago. And it was 10 days ago that we received Mass to Mass. Sorry, Mass Star to Mass calling card. Okay. <laughs> huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived? Yes, you see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and thorough. That's Adrian for you. Ah, oh, man. Ten days after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realized. A calling card arrived, right? Oh, yes. So, ace detective that I am, I set a trap for the thief right in the warehouse. And waited for him. Alone. Alone? But why? Why did you go to the police for help? Ridiculous! Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless group of nincompoops? Wow. Hmm. You've got a lot of nerve. After all, it was you that let the mask get away. I always operate alone and concealed out of the sight of others. <laughs> Damn it, Pearl. Corn sealed! <laughs> Corn sealed. Corn sealed. Precisely! Even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. To fool your enemies, first you must fool your own friends. It's my own original proverb. I don't... okay. <laughs> anyway, back to what happened last night. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. But that's impossible. How could it just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be ridiculous, sir lawyer. It's Ace Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> if I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here. Some, for someone who seriously messed up his own... His own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So, you're saying that even though one. Uh -oh. So, you're saying that even though on one. Oh, that's. Yeah, that seems, like a, that seems like a mistranslation. Okay. So, you're saying that even though one came through those doors last night, our precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose? That's just not possible. Yeah, your nose is so big. It's a long. Oh, how could it just... Can I now examine? I think he might. No. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay Mr. I Ace literally softlocked the game. <laughs> I don't like you. I guess well, maybe I have to present presents, stuff. Yeah. What, what do you think? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't be more helpful. Yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. It's evidence! Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I guess you could do the urn, maybe? Oh yeah, you could do that too. I wish I had a date. To the security at Lordly Taylor, I'd be coming to, the, to purloin the most priceless work Art and display in your treasures of Korean exhibit. Take good care of the speckled urn. Speckled. Don't you? Speckled. Huh. 
Oh, that's been cracked. I don't know. <laughs> One, two, yours truly mass start. I see the word purloin and I'm like, who says that? I know. I know. <laughs> Whoever okay, uses that word. Okay, like, I'm purloin. Purloin. Maybe you present that one? Do not fear, young lady. I promise I shall retrieve your urn. Thank you, Detective At Me. I'm counting on you. And the final round between Detective Luke at me and Mass Star Damas is set to begin. Still, there's something funny about this guy. Yeah, but don't forget he managed to retrieve the treasure from the last heist. I mean, that's like one out of five. <laughs> is it really that? <laughs> yes, I even have a video that details my role in the whole affair. No, I recorded it directly from the news on TV. Can I interest you in a copy? No, thanks. <laughs> Should I present this? Yeah, try the card. Mass the mass star the mass calling card. It's got his emblem printed on it, right? Quite impressive! But I would expect nothing less from my arch rival. I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top-secret piece of information. Well, we got an ace lawyer, an ace spirit medium, and an ace cousin apprentice here. Yes, indeed! I think I could learn to like you, my fellow ace professionals! I don't know if I really want this guy to like us. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, sir, lawyer. Please leave. I've been told that you too are pursuing the mysterious thief. I, I want you to leave so I can. No, I right. missed the. <laughs> <laughs> Before <laughs> you say anything, we're going to find the secret urn no matter what we have to do. Excellent. I will trust you. I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. Please do. Hurry up, leave. <laughs> if perchance you should discover something of value, return them to my office. Nah. My office of earthly delights, the At Me Detective Agency. Uh, office of earthly d d delights? That's a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> well then, sir lawyer, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Just go. Just go. No, don't say, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. He's gone. I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. <gasps> I want to go to his office, too. Take me with you, Kay. This is what makes, like, Phoenix absolutely a girl dad, because he's literally, like, lugging around, like, two teenagers. <laughs> like a teenager and a preteen. It's a box. That pathetic-looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box that had the secret urn in it! Don't touch it. There may be clues to the thief's identity on, on there. Uh, I worked so hard to make that box. Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. It's always been that like... urn has always been on its stand in the winding way of a manor. I always wonder why they kept it out there, though. <laughs> so there's no box? There was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I was so proud of it. <laughs> Alright, drama queen. <laughs> or Maya. Maybe it'd, it'd have been better if Mas the Star the Mask had taken the box too. It's like even the thief saw it and was like, wow, this is a poorly made box. But why box. doesn't it have so much paint on it? <laughs> wow, this is awesome! What did Miss Andrews say it, uh, it was called again? Is she Chishito? <laughs> it's literally Seven Branch Sword in Japanese. Or says, or so says Miss Andrews. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. You touched it! You, you touched, touched the it. evidence! One hit, seven times the fun. Pretty catchy, huh? I bet it's solid like hotcakes. Hotcakes. Um, there's something about it that bothers me. 
Wow, you're really firing all cylinders today, Pearly. The sword. Wasn't Mystic Amy holding it last night? Huh. And another thing. The sword wasn't bent last night like it is now. You're right. Awesome, Pearly. I wouldn't expect any less from my little Ace Apprentice. Sword is bent, so that must mean last night someone used it somehow. Aha! I just thought of something. My brain is so big right now. Maybe <laughs> Detective at me smash mask star to mask with it. Boom. Wow. I got That's it. why there's so much blood on it. I have so much. I have the answer. Like this! Oh my god. Ow! Youch! What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> what do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent than it was before. Oh, you're messing with the evidence! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my head! My hair! I like how he's worried about his hair. I gelled it all this morning! <laughs> Ceremonial sword held in the hand of Amy Face that she wasn't bent before the crime. Hey, Pearly, do you know what this is? It's a computer. A computer? Oh, I've heard the oops. It has such a cute name. Cute name. It looks like this computer is for storing the data from the security camera. When someone comes in or out of a warehouse, the camera takes a photo of them. We need the pictures. It's probably the trap that detective that the detective set up. Let's see if we can find last night's data on this thing. We might even find a photo of Mask Star to Mask. I'm in hacker, hacker voice. <laughs> hmm, let's see here. Man, I really stink at working these things. Oh my god, he's a boomer at 20, 22 oh, years no. old. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Nick? I'm sweating an awful lot. <laughs> I don't know how to pull up the photos. I had no idea you were so pathetic with high-tech stuff, Nick. Oh, pathetic is such a harsh word, Maya. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lord. well, I managed to print out the camera data anyway. Boom. <laughs> That's wrong on Phoenix is like. I guess you have to learn to crawl before you can walk, right, Nick? Yeah, sure. Anyway, it looks like the camera only went off once last night. Once? Oh, 1 a.m. So does... I already forgot. Does the camera snap whenever people leave, like come in and out? Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. Which is odd. That Which is means odd. Master Mask was already inside the warehouse when the crime happened, and he left. That's right. But then now I'm just like, where does the paint and the sword come in? Hmm. Uh, they'll, they'll find a way to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they did it to pry open the box. That makes sense. But I mean, it was a pathetic box, so it couldn't have been that hard to open. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the pink stuff is actually glue. -loo. You know, when I'm looking at it, you know how like, uh, in, what's it called? Uh, Danganronpa, where the blood is pink on there? That's, oh, yeah. that's the only way I picture it. <laughs> It's a security camera. It's trained on the big door to the storeroom. It's set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out. There's an answer to your question. A security camera? Yeah! Go stand in front of the door and I'll snap a f your photo too, Curly. Say cheese. Um, Mystic Ma Maya? Do you think I should smile? Nah, it's for criminals, so I think you should make a really scary face. <laughs> Poor Pearly. But, like, like this? Pearls, stop! <laughs> Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? It looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. I guess that's where uh, they were keeping their sacred urn. Remember, Maya, Miss Andrews said that said we're not allowed in there. Authorized personnel only. Okay, just two things. 
paint. Look what you did, Nick! You spilled paint over here! I didn't do that. Well, if I wasn't here last night, I would have noticed the color of this outrageous. <laughs> outrageous. Um, but this paint is already dried up. Well, then you should have cleaned it up before it dried, Nick. Paint doesn't dry that fast. Besides, I told you, it wasn't me. I'm just terrorizing. <laughs> I'm just terrorizing him. It looks like it's been several days since it was sp spilt. Hey, look at this. What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom left side of the stain. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. Wait a minute. I wasn't... Okay, wasn't the, the statue standing there before? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was standing in this location. Interesting, okay. With the sword. Okay. Or the shito. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the statue of Mystic Ami is so cool! I want a gold statue of myself. We could put it in the office. Mm. No. <laughs> Hey, it's right and company. How about a gold statue of me? Um, Mr. Nick, I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. Pearl is just carrying. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is it, Pearls? The statue of the Mystic Amy. Was this where it was last night? Uh. I'm pretty sure it was closer to the door. It, yeah, I think you're right. Great job, Pearly. I wouldn't expect not anything less from my ace cousin. So the statue is moved on the night of the crime. Moved the night of the crime. Mm. Every time I see Phoenix's name and Pearl's name, I it takes my takes a minute for my brain to register who's talking. Because <laughs> they're both on the P's, yeah? Yeah. It's okay. No worries. I think I got everything. Probably. Yeah, I think that does everything. Hmm. Back to the main exhibition. Hey, your cell phone's ringing. So let me listen to a ringtone. <laughs> I wonder if I could download this little sound font. But it's, it's the yep. Steel Samurai opening. <laughs> <laughs> but we want it as a ringtone. Beep. Hello, Phoenix right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> Gumshoe, what is it? What's so funny? I'll tell you what's funny, pal. I finally beat him. I beat Mr. Ace Detective. Finally, this underdog is the alpha dog today. That stuck up detective's a menace match. Oh, he is. Yup, I finally caught up. Lock, stock, and barrel. There's no escape for him. Oh. You, you caught him? Are you saying. You. You captured Mask Star to Mask? Bingo! <laughs> well, actually, he surrendered. But I still got him! <laughs> Master, Star the Master rendered. That's great. Oh, that's you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so quick. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so when are we gonna come and pick up the second arm? Okay. Um, uh, well, yeah, see, I was gonna tell you. What? Something wrong? Do you think you can swing by the detention center sometime? The detention center? He wants to talk to you. Mask star to mask, that is. What? He wants to talk to Nick? I'll be waiting for you, pal. So get over here soon. Beep. I'm gonna call my lawyer. It's Mr. Phoenix, right? Can you imagine Gumshu be like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the, the detention center, huh? Okay. Detention center. At me. Deten detective agency. Oh, we can't, can we not even go to the detention center? Apparently not. I'll just have to go here first. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to meet Luke at me yet. 
<laughs> October 12th, the detention center visitor's room. Hey, pal! Welcome to the detention center. You sure in a happy mood, aren't you? Yup, after all, we got masked. Right, but um, so where's the secret urn? Oh, sorry about that, pal. I guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. Huh? Well, I guess I should let you guys hear the story straight from the horse's mouth. You know, he's right, Nick. He, he is? If you think about it real hard, we are the victims! Well, I guess so, in a way. Um... Mm. <laughs> I'm so used to thinking of the victim as a dead person because we're always on the murder cases. We're doing murder cases all the time. People need to stop dying. Hey, no one, no one's died yet. Don't jinx it, Maya. Don't jinx it. <laughs> wait, 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 Ray. I think you should voice this person. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, excuse me. But anyway, I had to get the secret urn back. Please, don't just ignore me. Oh. Uh. Uh, um, who are you? I... Er... Um... I... I... I am... Oh god... <laughs> Masked Star Damask... Okay? Hey, Nick? Doesn't he look kind of... Well, gangly? I- I'm Ron Delight. <laughs> the, the famous mask star, Damask. I- I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. <laughs> Why does he look so sad? <laughs> he looks so sad. This is guard monitor's division room. He looks nervous being this close to an alleged thief. Nervous. Nervous. Smile, you're on candid camera. Alright, mask the mask. So you're the mask the mask guy. Wow, no star. <laughs> yeah. Y yes, you bet. No, er. That's wrong. You see, oh. it's complicated. Okay. Sort of. Yes, and sort of no. If you know what I mean. Oh, his voice starts fading away. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I was like, why is it a different color? That's, I thought it was because of the thing. Oh, no, oh. no. He's, he's like trailing off all quietly. <laughs> That's so sad. Hmm? What's wrong? Well, when I say wrong, what I really mean to say is that's not... It's not right, per se. Oops, you say it's like a s it- oh, hold on. You see, it's not spelled mask the mask, it's actually mask star the mask. <laughs> <laughs> What's with this guy? He's breaking me down. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a timid little weakling, we know that much. D d d don't do that! Don't look at me like that! I don't need your pity! And a major crybaby, too. So, why did you give yourself up? Well, well you, you see, it's because, well... I know why! It's because you stole such a priceless treasure! And now, you're overwhelmed with guilt, am I right? Priceless treasure? That broken old urn? Um, I have a little favor to ask. Y yes what is it? Could you go and talk to Denise? De oh wait, no, that's not Denise. To De 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 Desi? Desi? Desi, I'm guessing. Desi? Yeah. De 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 Desi? Who's Desi? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Look, we really want to earn back. So where is it? I'm sorry. I'll give it back. I really will. Or maybe not. Uh. <laughs> no, I can't. 
I can't make promises I can't keep. I'll just end up hurting people. Um, Mr. Nick? I couldn't hear what you s just said. Especially the last part. Oh, um, Mr. Damask, do you think you could speak up a little? Uh, yes sir. I will, I promise. Er, maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I really can't do anything. Mr. Damask? About the urn? Oh, yes! The urn! Right away! Er, actually, no. I wouldn't mind telling you, but actually I'm afraid that you wouldn't believe me anyway. <laughs> Enough already! Just tell it to us straight! Please! Please don't yell at me! No. <sighs> I'm... I'm... I'm sorry. That urn, I... I lost it! Oh. What? Lost it? What did you just say? Did you just say you lost it? Yes, er, no, um, maybe so. I mean, yes, I lost it. I don't know what to make of this guy. <laughs> yeah, at least he's cute. <laughs> w what do you mean? Well, you know, I lost it, like I said, these things just happen. They just happen. They just happen. You're on the train and you get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> you forget your bag, you know? No. What? You forgot our sacred urn on the train? Wait a minute. You went on the train dressed like that? N no, I, I, I was just speaking hypothetically. That's all. N anyway, I'm sorry. I just lost it somewhere. I don't know where. Guy's story is more surreal than a dolly painting. Are you really sure this creep is masked to mask? Sorry, masked star to mask? <laughs> creep is. The creep is strong. Too strong. <laughs> I would say, like, uh, maybe just like a wallflower or like. Maya, don't call him a creep. Also, I do have to admit, I understand your doubts about this guy. It's Maximilian all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Except his, it was just his eyeliner just kept like dropping off. Just falling. Oh, yeah. yeah, I gotta go real quick. Okay. So who is this messy person? Please, don't talk about my wife like that. Oh. I I guess she must be his wife. <sighs> I'm sorry. The truth is. It was my wife that told me to have you all come here. Um, do you think you could go and visit her at my hideout? Get out. Oh, Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry. Naturally, I meant to say my secret base. S -s secret base? Well, <laughs> my apartment... Actually, Palazzo, but Pepe, third floor. Let's go have a look, Nick. To mass start to mass his hideout. Something tells me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. All right. Maybe we're a hide. Oh wait, 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 wait. Probably wait. presents himself. Maybe presenting this. Oh wait, oops, wrong button. What do you think about this? That's really important. Hmm. I don't really think I can help you with that. Uh, no, that's not it. Well, the thing is, I don't really know if I can say one way or the other. I didn't really catch that. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Alright. Maybe yeah. <laughs> I'm really sorry I caused so much trouble. If you're really so sorry, then you shouldn't have stolen it in the first place. But uh, the only thing I did wrong was lose it. Uh, that's not right. It was wrong either way. I'm sure the owners of the other treasures feel the same. 
He sure seems sorry. Who would have imagined that such a famous thief would have such a pure heart? <laughs> your calling card? Oh! That's Mass Sword of Mass Calling Card! Pretty nice looking, huh? He looks so happy. He does. <laughs> uh, I'm not very good at writing, you see. So I bought a book called How to Write Business Letters and studied hard. Purloin? I don't think purloin would be under the business terminologies and stuff. <laughs> right? Purloin. Purloin me some coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody ever used that word like naturally, I'd just be like, what are you? Who are you? <laughs> well, I guess you could call thievery a type of business. Mm. I don't know if anything else would be useful, but I'll try anyways. Yeah, I don't know if you'll say anything about those. No, probably not. Oh, right. I have a profile of Luke. You do. Him! Do you know him? He claims to be your arch enemy and rival. That person. <laughs> He's not my arch enemy or my rival! Well, actually, no. Now that I think about it, the terms arch enemy and rival are the same thing. <laughs> They are rivals! Only people who have it out for each other would disagree like this! That's the mask. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always been interested in mysterious masked men. The lips are different. <laughs> they are different. <laughs> so, that's what, so that's what you wanted to be when you grew up? Yes! Uh, no. Sort of, but not exactly. Is it yes or no, man? <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I, I never imagined I feel as bad as I do now about the treasures being stolen. People sure can be complicated, can't they? Alright. Um. I want 20 deaths. He's so young! Luke is 34. He's so old. How old am I? 26. Oh, wow. Uh, we're older. Older than 26. I... Hmm. Maya is 19 now. Maya is 19, so it's already been three years. Okay. Wait, no, that's not true, because Pearl Pearl was seven? No. Yeah, seven when we first met her, right? It's been two. So it's been two years. But I don't know anymore. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know this person? No. Okay. Wait, do I, can I present you? No. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they say it. I'm sure if you present Sometimes. Luke at me at Luke at me. Ugh, he'll probably have like a entire paragraph just talking about himself. <laughs> you know it. The masks hide out. I like how we're keeping Luke at me for last. Oh my <laughs> god. What is that? Max Star the Max hideout. <laughs> it's very um cluttered. Very. I don't know. I'm looking at that beard. motorcycle. Oh, the beard was the first thing that caught my eye. Oh. <laughs> oh Why yeah, the beard. <laughs> I know, it's like a little inflatable. Everything else kind of makes sense. Rockets, books. Wow, check this place out. Got wigs. No doubt about it. This is Mass Star to Mass Hideout, all right. Who is it? Is that you, Ronnie? Oh, wow. <laughs> huh? Who are you, people? Er, um, are you Desi Delight? That's right. I'm Desiree. Ah. Oh, you must be the lawyer and the victim. <laughs> yeah, that's us. Your husband told us to stop by and speak with you. I'm Maya Faye, and this is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney at Law. <laughs> Just slip in the ace there. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki Boy and Maya, huh? <laughs> I can't tell you how grateful I am that you decided to help my Ronnie. Well, um, <laughs> you're welcome. 
Did she really call me Nikki boy? Yeah. Why does he have a hot girlfriend? <laughs> Why not? She's so thematically motorcycle. <laughs> hey Nick, look on top of the chair. It's like an envelope and a letter. Oh, don't you just stand there? Come on, let's read it. Oh Maya, you know we shouldn't do that. What are you talking Desiree's about? Desiree's right here. <laughs> that letter could be an important clue! Forget her. In no way. You can't just go reading a private letter because you feel like it. Huh. It's not just because I feel like it. It could be really important. If I was sure it was a clue, I guess I wouldn't mind. If it was really a clue. If it was truly a clue. <laughs> She's hot, so she has to be you. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff piled up over here. Duck and cover! It's a missile! Did you know? There's d d dynamite in missiles. But they're not heavy enough to be real. Oh, wait. They're just really well made toys. What are these rolls of paper stuck in the trash can? Oh, how sticky maps. <laughs> I thought so too. That the, the Mazarin stole the great albatross strategy. That the, the immortal goddess statue, the great knuckle bomber strategy. Oh, plants. <laughs> Did the police even investigate this place? Balloon. I like the happy music. Oh, that's so cute. It's called a hot air balloon, you know? Wow, there's no fooling you. <laughs> God, I I don't know. Did, did Phoenix just like, call like this bitter old man after twenty five? <laughs> Jeez, what happened? <laughs> what happened to him? I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in it, Nick. That emblem on the balloon is supposed to be top secret. That's proof enough that Rondolite Matt there really is mass star to mask. I'd better not tell Maya. She gets kind of scary when it comes to celebrities. Beard. It's a bunch of cheap costume pieces arranged inside a nice frame. Oh, look, Nick! It's a fake beard! <laughs> There's also a mask made out of cardboard. Here, Nick! Try on this fake beard! Come on, try it on! H hey, cut it out! Now put on the mask. Why are you just touching stuff without permission, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> it's Phoenix Star to Mask. <laughs> Let's borrow it for a while. No way. I'm not stealing from a thief. I have enough bad karma as, as is. What is this? Hmm, this thing looks vaguely familiar. It's like, oh, the astronaut costume thing. Wait, where? Oh! What? what? <laughs> How did he. Huh? <laughs> How did he- Did he steal it? How did he get it from- Did he- Hmm. Yeah. Okay, it started with her, right? So he had to have- Bought it? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe he lent it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. It's a fishbowl. Well, an upside down one, anyway. Wow, Maya. I can really see the fish there. I think it's a helmet. An alien helmet. Oh my god. Making specific references. And that looks like a tape recorder or something next to it. I think it's a transceiver. An alien transceiver. <laughs> Nick? Do you think maybe you could act like a grown-up for a little bit? Wow. Getting lectured by Maya to be more of an adult. That's a new low. <laughs> No, it's okay, Phoenix. I get you, brother. I get you! It's Mask Star to Mask! There's a tape recorder hanging from his neck. Let me see that. So grabby! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be taking this crown now! Better luck next time, gentlemen! <laughs> I don't get it. What's this supposed to be, Nick? <laughs> okay. So is that how he flew away? Maybe. How I mean, there's he... like an anvil. No, oh, that's to keep it down. Yeah, I, guess I was like, how did he get it? Up. How did he get it back? <laughs> <laughs> he 
Oh. He has multiple of them. They don't come back when they fly away. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I see. Nick! It's a torpedo! It's hard to believe, but it sure looks real. Where could he have picked up something like this? Please don't say that torpedoes are things people just leave lying around. Books. Big books. There are a bunch of books lying here. They're all romantic sounding novels about famous heists and fantastic thieves. Wow. Look at all the bookmarks and notes stuck on them. Let's see here. Note. Must remember this thief's way of laughing. Very useful. Note. A calling card is an important part of any good thief's modus operandi. Hmm. Wow. Ron really studied the stuff. Motorcycle. No. Nothing. No. Nothing. Pictures. No. Nothing. Nope. The nothing. weapons. Nothing. Nope. Nothing. Not nothing. The wigs. No. I just like how normal their apartment looks. It's just cluttered. No, Normal-ish. I don't think people have like blocks of dynamite <laughs> sitting on their carpet. <laughs> Huh. Or a random grappling hook. <laughs> okay, but honestly, this thing screams wannabe, right? <laughs> a wannabe thief. Yeah. Heist thief. Hmm. Alright. Oh, about your husband. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? A bit weak sometimes, though. But I'm into that. A bit? By the way, did you know they mentioned Maya on TV? Huh, really? He said that you own the urn and that you should you're doing some shady training at a law office now. <laughs> Remind me not to watch that channel's news program. <laughs> After I saw that, I thought it would might be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie, he has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He kept insisting he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me. I stole that urn, he kept saying, as if it was even possible. Huh? But, but, are, are you saying he didn't? <laughs> of course he didn't. Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, it's a priceless treasure, and, and he's, you know... Is it possible his own wife doesn't know his secret identity? <laughs> Is he just a mess to mess uh, fanboy? <laughs> that, that's what I'm wondering. Or a split personality, but I kind of doubt that. Me? I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. Oh, excitement, huh? Yeah, I'm at my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going at full throttle. You wear a helmet. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line. You know what I mean? Um. Well, I think that depends on how you write it. <laughs> how does she write it? How does she write it? Wheelies. <laughs> Just wheelies everywhere. I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary old life with no action. No offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk-taking type himself. You're right about that. He's definitely not one for thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Other ways? Yes. Money! Ronnie is incredibly rich and super generous. Okay. <laughs> he bought me a bike that's so fast it could make your head spin. And shopping. I like to shop so much it makes Ron's head spin. The other day, it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Man, talk about a high maintenance wife. So, where does Mr. Delight get all his money from? Ronnie is a security guard. They put their lives on the line, right? So they get paid tons of money in return. Tons of it. He's a security guard? I think it's my turn for. I think it's my turn for my head to spin. Night of the Prime. Can you tell us about what happened last night? Hmm, what time did that incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? 
Well, according to Detective Gumshoe, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Wait, what happened to Pearls? I don't know. I think she's just been chilling. We just distract the office. <laughs> she <laughs> is trying to console poor Ronnie back at the the detective. <laughs> or what is it? The detective, detective center. center? Yeah. Oh, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. You're probably speeding. Pulled over? Yes, I always do my best flying at night. Uh, flying? Um, you're talking about your motorcycle, right? Yes. Anyway, last night I got pulled over by a policeman. I can't believe he caught up to me. It was a great chase, let me tell you. When he finally caught me, the poor man was as white as a sheet. It was about 3 in the morning when I finally got home. Sounds like she's got an airtight alibi. Do you trust it? Well, I don't know. What about <sighs> Mr. Delight? I don't really know. We weren't together at that time of the night. When I got home, he was already fast asleep. So basically, he's got no alibi. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. She's got Ms. enough red Light. flags. So quilt. <laughs> she's a uh, she's something. She she is something. Okay. You don't know about oh about your husband, Mass Star Damask. Mass Star Damask. Of course, I know all about it. My husband is his biggest fan. Yep. What? Huh? B biggest fan? Yes, and Ronnie can be pretty delusional sometimes. That's how this whole misunderstanding happened. W wait a minute. Did you say delusional? Yes, that's right. I, I just don't know what I'm going to do with him. You see, Ronnie actually believes that he is Mass Star Damask. Wh what? What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know who this guy is? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, she don't. I don't know. Ask about Ronnie. <laughs> I know he doesn't look it. But he can really get things done when he puts his mind to it. Really? So when exactly does he put his mind to it? Well, not very often, I admit. What exactly does Miss Delight see in her husband, anyway? He's cute. He's a wet <laughs> rag. He, he <laughs> has money. Money. She's, she has him. Money bags. She has him twirled around her little finger. <laughs> wow, you must have really seen Skyrockets when you first met to love him so much. She, she just saw the paycheck. She probably did. Skyrockets? I didn't know people still use that word. Um, she, can you tell me about yourself? Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> as long as I've got my motorcycle and my Ronnie, I'm happy. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. Not plus a little excitement and a little shopping money. Just a little. Just a little. Just a tad. Then I'm happy. Now she's starting to sound a bit greedy, don't you think, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an attorney. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'm an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> So, when did Ron first become Mass Star Damask? What are you talking about? He's not Mass Star Damask. Huh? But w wait a second. Look around this at this room. This place is obviously Mass Star Damask's hideout. No, no, no. You're totally wrong. A real thief's hideout wouldn't look like this. It's because Ronnie is so timid himself that he looks up to heroic figures. Heroic figures? The Mass Star Damask is a bad guy. So he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway, if he really had stolen that urn, wouldn't he still have it? 
Well, well, I suppose so. Then why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? Because he said he lost it! <laughs> <laughs> she has a point. Mr. Delight isn't exactly the criminal type. But something about Ron's behavior bothers me. Maybe it's true. Maybe Mr. Delight isn't masked the mask after all. Say, can I ask you something, Nikki boy? What is it? I know I may seem like a bad girl on the outside. But the one thing I won't stand for is illegal activity. But you- You got pulled over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever, lady. Okay. I had the feeling you wouldn't. You're tough. But I can tell you got a good heart. Somebody framed my poor Ronnie. I just know it. Um, could you give this to Ronnie for me? Can I open it? A letter? Yes, for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Miss Light. Okay, you've got it. Just relax and leave it all to us. Addressed to her husband, Ronda Light apparently contains something important. Okay. Okay. Can I read it right in front of you? No. <laughs> like, nah, you're not supposed to be looking at that. Alright. Oops. Oh Tell my goodness, goodness gracious. gracious. There we go. <laughs> That's my lovely wife. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Yeah, she sure is. Uh, oh. Gee. <laughs> oh boy. That one she topic did I stay didn't behind. <laughs> she did. <laughs> <laughs> the one topic I didn't want to get into in front of pearls. But Desi doesn't approve of my interests. So I'm afraid she doesn't like me anymore. What should I do? If I want to win her back, I'm really going to have to be super honest. Oh boy, he's gone back into his own little world again. Alright, thank you. <laughs> here you go, it's from your lovely wife. Oh, that's right, here, this is from your wife. Oh, from Desi! Thank you. <laughs> Letter given to Mask Start to Mask, actually more like Taken. My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. He's clutching onto that letter so hard the ink is about is going to be squeezed out. You look so happy. You should write a letter to Mystic Maya too, Mr. Nick. No. <laughs> um, Mr. Lawyer? Yes. In the letter that Desi wrote, she said, Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? Uh, um, I know this would be asking a lot, but... Could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow. Hey, hang on a second. He can't be your lawyer. She's so, usually so excited to be the lawyer, too. <laughs> why, why not? Why not? What do you mean, why not? <laughs> We're the victims of this case, right? Victims of this Damask guy! Well, yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. She said, poor man. He's deluded himself into thinking he did it, right, Mr. Nick? How do you know? Wait, you were there? I guess she was there, but we're just- I- I think she's just a mind reader at this point. Okay, Pearl, you- you didn't say anything in that whole scene, but whatever. <laughs> Come on, she could be lying to protect her husband. Well, that's true, or no, actually not. Actually, it's hard to say. Oh god. <laughs> Can you imagine he starts talking like that in the court? <laughs> like, am I reading the right line? <laughs> right? Oh no, it's spreading. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, please. I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return. Mm, what should I do? Yeah. I'll... What happens if I refuse it? Can you save? I... 
Oh, you, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to know, like, the programming. Like, nah. <laughs> Don't do it, Nick. He's a thief. Mr. Nick, I agree with Mystic Maya. Well, I admit something about this guy stinks like last week's sushi. I guess I really should say no, but if I do that, this poor guy will have nobody on his side. Well, Mr. Delight... Wow, I just take it anyways. Wow, yeah, he doesn't even really give you a choice. <laughs> there is the illusion of choice. Those dang developers not giving me the <laughs> Well, Mr. Delight, I've decided to take your case. Really? You will? Mr. Nick! I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. <laughs> My daughters hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you defend this person after what he did to Mystic Maya. I, I, I'll never forgive you, ever. Oh, I made her cry. Stop crying! Stop! Broly, <laughs> <laughs> wait. This is going to be ugly. I I'll go after her. They left me. <laughs> they left you me. You lost your daughters. <laughs> Um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Do, do, do. I like the piano. Yeah, me too. This is a nice piano. Well, you couldn't have known she'd re react like that. I guess I might as well start investigating. She's back. Oh, Maya. Where's Pearls? She said she's going back to the office. Go check out in on her later, would you? I will check on her immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what about you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Delight's case? Yeah, I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. Okay, only one of my daughters hates me. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh my god, people actually do care. Um, I, uh, I know you have a lot of work to do. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, Nick. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, company office. Pearl. Ah, Mr. Nick, welcome back. Oh, hey, Pearls. Do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're back too. I see. I um, I went and bought us a strawberry cake. With what money? Do you have money? She literally just like cleaned up the entire bakery just so they could give her a strawberry cake in return. <laughs> I'll go make some tea to go with it. We have tea? Hey, uh, pearls? It looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. Doesn't forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Maya, the tea is ready. Oh, thanks. Come on, Mr. Nick, please have some of this cake. Did you poison it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, pearls? Oh, I I excuse me, I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet. No, it's been cleaned. What are you talking about? <laughs> Did you clog it again? <laughs> Hey, it's okay. I just cleaned it this morning. I'm too late. This might be a good time for me to ask about her. I first met Pearls a year ago. Oh, that was a year. That was a year ago. <laughs> what? So we she was eight when we met her? I guess so. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> it was when that murder happened at Korean Village. I still remember what she said to me when we first met. You, blah, blah, you Mr. Blah. Nick Brown. <laughs> yeah. Blah, 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 Special someone. Hey, Maya. I always thought it was because she was young, but... For what? Pearls. I think she's got the wrong idea. About you and me. Huh? Uh, I... Um... There's something you need to understand. 
What, what, what is it? Um, it's kind of like a Korean village custom, sort of. There are hardly any men in the Crane Village. Alright, we only met like yada, two yada, people. Yada, 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 yada. <laughs> now that you mentioned, I never actually saw any men when I visited. I'm pretty sure I told you about it a long time ago. About how spiritual powers run very strong in the Fae family. Yeah, you did. And that's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit medium, right? Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. That's why the whole culture of Korean Village kind of revolves around this woman. Well, that's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Oh? Well, men start to feel left out after a while and then they just start leaving. Especially if the man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearl's father... He's gone. He left the village when she was very young. Boy, that's tough. Yeah, and she grew up seeing nothing but unhappy marriages around, all around her. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. Pearl seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only cousin, and well... Because of the murder case last year, Pearlie's mother is... Yeah... <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> like, oops. Yo, we kinda did that. I remember now. Oh, Pearl's mother, Morgan Faye. She's serving a prison term in isolation right now. Oof. So, you see, I'm the only family Pearlie has right now. But it's the same for me, too. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> <laughs> My mother's gone, too. And your sister. <laughs> so your mother's still missing? Yeah, no one has any idea where she is. Maya's mother, Misty Faye. The current master of the Korean channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain police case. But you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's sort of a spirit medium thing. You would think you'd be able to summon your mom, but she was <laughs> not able to. <laughs> That's true. And if your mother doesn't come back, then what? <laughs> That's me. I know! Oh, that was you! Oh, shoot! I- oh, god. I thought, nope. <laughs> never mind. Then according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. The Mystic Maya, the master of the Korean technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the fame main family who's a spirit medium. Now, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not going to learn anything just sitting around in the office. I don't know, those legal books could have something. Yeah, I know. But first I want to talk to Pearls. Um, Mr. Nick? I clogged the toilet. <laughs> I'm kidding. Y yeah? I... I acted like a baby. Pearls. I doubted you. Even though Mystic Maya trusted you completely. I guess I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Nick! I yes I- From the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. Aw, it's okay. I'm the one that should be apologizing. Well, I'm gonna go out for a little bit. Huh? What? Wh where are you going? I may be small, but I still have a lot of spirit channeling power. So, I'm gonna show you I could be useful too, by finding some evidence. Hey, what? what wait a- Ack! She sure runs fast. Nick, let's back off and give her some room, okay? Yeah. Charlie. Oh. Charlie. Huh? <laughs> Quite decorative lamp. Okay, I mean, it's still the same thing. <laughs> and you never forget to water this little fella. Never oh, forget I said, to water the fella. Never forget it. 
desk. Oh, it's sparkly clean. I guess pros must have wiped them out for me. Oh, are the, are the books clean too? These are all Mia's. Wow, I just... Really, I didn't buy a single one of these. What? Literally inherited. Okay. Alright. Ugh. I don't wanna... Oh, yeah. I don't wanna go. We haven't been no. there yet. That's right. No, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> I forgot that we haven't been there yet. Oh my god, what is this place? At me, Detective Agency, October 12th. <laughs> this is a detective agency? Looks more like a set of some B-grade horror movie. I mean, look at that portrait. Hello, is anyone here? It looks like nobody's home. Hmm. What a waste of time. Hey, I know. Let's take that frame picture back with us as a memento. <laughs> I would Old rather thing. burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare, Maya. <laughs> guess we'll have to try it. We'll have to try back later. Oh, good. We'll ha guess we'll have to try back later. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, that, that reads, reads a little weird. Man, try what is this later. room? He has like decorative plates. He has like his chemistry set. Okay, man of the sciences. All right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Man of the sciences. This desk is literally covered with all sorts of chemistry equipment. Oh, I just love chemistry. I just love seeing things explode. Say, Nick, I bet you didn't know this, but I'm a chemistry major. Kidding. <laughs> Water is made of of carbon and hydrogen. Boom. Um. You're comp okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Not carbon. Oxygen. Oxygen and hydrogen. Oh. Well, there are always alternative theories, I guess. Maya! <laughs> Actually, misinformation. If by, if by alternative theories, you mean the ones you make up inside that head of yours. <laughs> She's so funny. She says it so confidently, too. One impressive bookshelf filled with some very impressive books. My Life as an Ace Detective, Unabridged Edition by Luke at me, Ace Detective. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's even got one of those ships in a bottle thingies. <sighs> Would you look at that? There's a little Luke at me doll at the helm. How cute. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a microscope here, too. I wonder if he was researching something. It's a picture of Luke at me that is microscopic <laughs> or something. <laughs> the glass flies have different names on them. This one says at me virus. Hmm. Hmm. This guy is just dying to make a name for himself, huh? It's getting kind of irritating, actually. I've been irritated since I first <laughs> saw him. <laughs> Whoa! It's a huge earth! It's a fireplace. Earth. That's a fireplace. Oh god. So? What's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. <laughs> you said this about the ladder! <laughs> okay, I'm Water. team ladder and I'm team earth, apparently. <laughs> it's a fireplace! <laughs> right, sorry. Hey, Nick? What's this thing here? It's called a gramophone. I thought it was in the a... old days. What else is oh, what? it called? Is it called anything else or? I guess I can't. Uh, I don't know. Record player. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. In in the old days, player used them to listen to music. You can't be serious. I think it's probably for purifying the air or something. Why do you ask if you're not gonna believe me? <laughs> I'll bet you 50 cents. Come on, what do you say? You even have 50 cents. Forget it. You never pay up when you lose. <laughs> <laughs> Scab. Scab. I think that's the last. This is yeah, last. Yeah, that's the last one. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I want his suitcase. Give me something else. Please. <laughs> he just pops out. What a creepy painting. It's like he's looking right at me. Oh man, you're right. 
Maybe we should put up a big portrait of you in the office, Nick. No. I can even paint it for you. Maybe we can pose while cleaning the toilet. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I think I'd prefer something a bit more dignified. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Okay. I'm gonna I'm hop off. Okay. We're getting closer okay. to bedtime, so. Y'all have good. fun. Take care. Right, Thanks for night. joining. You too. Yeah. Thanks for, for, uh, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, Bye. yeah get some sleep. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. October 12th, Lordly Taylor Main Exhibition Hall. Ah! Maya! <laughs> oh, Miss Andrew. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Your precious urn. Your precious urn. Oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> Please, c calm down, what's wrong? It never ends! Everything I touch ends in failure! Maya, I'm sorry! I'll do anything to make it up to you! No, it's okay, I don't- I know, I don't look it, but I'm good with my hands! I could make you another urn! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, just wait, okay? Breathe, calm down and talk to us. Forgive me! Forgive me! <laughs> Aw, poor Curly. Um, so when did you get the calling card from Mask Start a Mask? Let's see, exactly 10 days ago. I was going to show it to the police, but that detective stopped me. Aw, uh, so you asked a detective at me to help with security? Yes. In fact, it was about 20 days ago that I hired him. Okay, that lines up. He seemed to know much more about mass start and mass than the police. So you hired him for security even before the calling card arrived. Well, yes. I had a premonition that something bad might happen. I've learned to trust my hunches. So that's why there are security cameras even in the basement warehouse. Yes. Lordly Taylor is very serious about their security me measures. It was their way of saying, bring it on, to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it last night, and even left with a nice souvenir. Um, uh, can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault! I never should have called this paltry little collection a treasure exhibit anyway. <gasps> Why do you say that? That the urn that was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but its actual value after appraisal was, well, practically zero. Zero? I polished it. I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. But, but that urn contains the soul of Mr. Kami. Anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective at me. But... Five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit items from Karain. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually Master to Mask in disguise! No, I personally checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. Knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. Thing is new. That's probably where the sacred urn was going to be displayed. Yeah, I guess so. Should I put my attorney's badge there? <laughs> you know, as a replacement? <laughs> Jeez, <God>. Phoenix. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little too small for that. What about my Magadama? Now you're being silly. That's definitely too small. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Just always arguing. <laughs> they are. <laughs> the folding screen of Korean sacred writings. I can't read what it says on it. What do you mean you can't read it? Really? But I thought it was some kind of important spell. Mm, yeah, my mother read it and taught me to memorize it. I'll be in trouble if I ever forget it. it looks like the Korean channeling school is teetering dangerously on the edge. So what does it actually say? <laughs> I don't know. This is incredible. It's a tiny version of my whole village. 
Hey, I've got a great idea. You can make a miniature of your office, Nick. I don't know about that. The whole place is overflowing with junk. You'd die before you finish painstakingly recreating that mess. That mess. Oh, well, we can always clean it up first. Uh, true. <laughs> oh my god, is, is Phoenix actually a slob? <laughs> <laughs> slob. Um... Can I present something? This... Uh, okay. Can I not question her about anything? Maybe the urn? Or <sighs> try uh, the statue? Oh wow. Nothing? She's too far- she's far gone! <laughs> she's too no, far gone! keep pressing! Give her the calling card! Or no. maybe ask her about people! Oh, no. she, she's gone! <laughs> no, get at me, at me, at me! <laughs> oh god, it's over. Never mind. Screw it. She's gone. <laughs> Back here? No? Okay. I don't know if we find anything else here. You already checked out everything. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anything's new. Changed, yeah. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I had to present this. No. <laughs> no, she's too busy crying. I don't know, after that guy with the parrot about presenting this attorney's badge, it, that- <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> they changed the whole trajectory. It's like that was not ironic at all. Mm, I guess back to the office? No. I'm just gonna move everywhere. Yeah. Or Maybe back to the mass? Nope. Well, Detention center? The only yeah, thing we no. have left is just at me, then. Oh, right. You go back there. Shucks. Yeah. Let's see if he's there. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Hello? Well, well. How lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my abode! Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Er, uh, um, we're actually kind of... Shh! Silence! <laughs> Precisely as I expected. What is... what? what? Zvadi! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer. And a spirit medium. You, Am you I correct? said this already. <laughs> um, I think we've already been through this. Ha! So my estimation was correct. Zvadi! How truly elegant. Now then, what can I do for you? I, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I need to roll my R's whenever he says Zvadi. Zvari. I know. <laughs> I, I need to. I need to get the the Frankie sound of it. Zvari. <laughs> I can't do it. You mentioned before that you were on guard duty all alone last night. Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. Had you been after Mass Star to Mass since his very first theft? Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. And his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Eminon. I first encountered him at the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So that's why you were hired as security for the treasury exhibit? I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lordly Taylor and set the perfect trap. You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the whole area yourself, too. So how did Master to Mass manage to steal the urn? 
That's the million dollar question. What is the mask's modus operandi? Um, Mr. Atme, did you know about the sacred urn? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is Master the Mask. Sacred urn? <laughs> that has nothing to do with this case. Oh, but wasn't that what Mas Star the Mask stole this time? I am a hunter, sir, and that urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? Wow. Okay, man. <laughs> I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Dick. <laughs> well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know much about the urn. The mask's M.O. Um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. Stop. I don't want to see your eyeball. <laughs> After all, we are all but seekers, wandering alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering about Master Damas. How Master Damas managed to steal the urn? I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Mask Star to Mask. No! <laughs> well, okay, it's just one. I was, okay, this entire time I was like, who's gonna pop a Cyclock on us? <laughs> I was waiting for it. Also, hi, Mia. Forgot about them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, well, we got the, the answer. It's a Cyclock. Cyclock? Does she know about this? Yeah, she does. She does know about the Cyclock. I can just talk about the Cyclock, oh. Oh, wait, she doesn't know- oh, <laughs> oh! I guess Pearl is the only one that knew about that. Guess so. But then she- wasn't Maya the one that asked Phoenix to get the Magadama from her? Hmm. Ugh, weird. I oh. don't know. Hey, Nick, what is the Cyclock thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what the secrets are. What? This Magatama has that kind of power? I thought you were in trading. <laughs> I thought so too. Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magatama last year. Well, it's true that this Magatama is, prized fa is a prized fae family heirloom, but... Pearly was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? That's why I don't really know much about what it can do. This is the woman that's going to take over the Korean channeling school someday. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you do it? How do you break the Cyclock thingy? Well, you present the Magata- Okay, it's just like okay, a mini it, tutorial. It is a mini tutorial. <laughs> cool! I can't wait to see it in action! Come on, try it out! Maybe they had to purposely dumb down Maya so they could do the tutorial in case somebody just went into it blind. Hmm, I guess so. Oh boy, I think the future master still needs to learn how to be patient. Here we go. Take that! Take that! The musk. Detective at me. You were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Mask Star the Mask commit the crime. Well, now I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse. That much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. Objection! <laughs> I'm not sure why, but this at me guy is lying through his teeth. I know. I'll show him some proof. Detective at me, I have here proof that someone went through that door last night. Yes, you do. Take that! There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. 
I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. What? But my monocle didn't catch anyone in its flash! It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Detector at me. You must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. I... I do? You do? <laughs> what is it? I, I... I don't know. Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mask star the mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at that time be was because you were... Unconscious, um, maybe? I, I was thinking unconscious. Yeah. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Oh, the sword, the bent sword. <laughs> maybe. Uh, time to put Probably. your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence! It's probably the sword. It's probably the sword. <laughs> Detective at me. You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? <laughs> Surely you must be joking. You think that I, Luke at me, could be knocked unconscious so easily? The sword proves it. <gasps> Nuts. Before the theft, the sword was in the hand of the statue of Ami Fei. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Ah, uh, uh. There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by the sword. Well, detective, how about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. More like an ace detective now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. 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 I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So, you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? <laughs> clobbered. Clobbered. <laughs> Clobber. What, what an ugly way of saying it. I mean, I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No. The coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes? Then, my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch. Mr. Hatmi should have his poor head examined. You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? The blow to the back of the head. She chi she chi she though. <laughs> can they actually like verify that? Mm, I mean, Maya already whacked me with it uh, with the thing, well, so who yeah, knows? Yeah, but I mean, like, shouldn't they like check the back of his head? <laughs> uh, he's fine. It's his fine. head's big enough as it is. <laughs> Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? That at me is the greatest ace detective in the world? How did you... Okay. Whatever. Okay, bye. Whatever. <laughs> no. Thought you never actually saw the thief. Oh. That's right. So, the thief might not even be Mass Damask. Mass Damask. Just <laughs> one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably Mass Damask. You never actually saw him. Perhaps. So, I... Oh, but I installed a security camera for just... Uh, for just such a... Con the sentences are so <laughs> weird in this case. Con con contingency. Yeah, for just such a contingency. But I don't <laughs> like the way that they're structuring these sentences. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Oh. 
Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold, this is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. Yay, evidence. That's a small box. I that thought the urn was bigger. I know, that has a tiny box. How is his hands all over that? He's probably wearing gloves, right? There's the- is that paint? That is paint. But look at the shape of it. It's kind of... Well, okay, we know that where it was sitting, like where the army statue was sit sitting, right? But that looks really small for the statue. It does. It does. Okay. Hmm. But that, that that's him. The mask started mask. Hey. The thief can be none other than the arch criminal, Master Damask. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such a brazen crimes. For committing such a brazen crimes. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, what did you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. How do you know that? You How need do you to go and you need to go and investigate. But <laughs> how would you even know about that? Thank you, Maya. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the earth. The most brilliant mind since, well, ever. Look at me. Oh, well, I guess we better go take a look just in case. But now I gotta gotta present some stuff to him. Like like I don't know. Stuff. <laughs> this will surely be Master the Mask's final heist. Last time I came close and managed to retrieve the stolen treasure. Mark my words, this criminal of humanity will be found guilty in due time. And then I, Luke at me, this detective will dance with joy. I have no clue what you're blabbering about, but I guess I'll find out soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, tell me about yourself. This person is bloody. I, I can't <laughs> do it. <laughs> A great <laughs> ace detective, am I correct? Um, but I was the one asking you. This photo simply isn't enough information. I'm afraid I can't be absolutely certain. But the intelligence of those eyes indicate a man of deep wisdom and insight. Stop messing around, Nick, and just ask him already. <laughs> but this guy is scary. <laughs> this man surrendered to the police, admitting that he was masked on a mask. Maybe so, but I'm not convinced that he's really behind the thefts. He is. He sounds pretty sure. I mean, this guy was also clobbered on the back of his head, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just look at his forehead. It's all in the shape of his mouth and eyes. His mouth is not even the same! It's all plump. He has, like, plump lips. <laughs> This is the classic face of a thief. It is unmistakable. It's just poop coming out of his mouth. <laughs> is there anything that isn't unmistakable to you? Uh, do you know about his wife? No, it's not. <laughs> that photo leaves me with an indistinct feeling. Mm. <laughs> Distinctively, distinctively, <laughs> something, something feeling. In this case, I'm oh, afraid my po huh? Perspicacity? 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 You try. Mm. Perspicacity or perspicacity? Per pers pers what does that mean? I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> Google it right now. Per pers Perspicacity. 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 
Oh. The quality of having a ready insight into things. Shrewdness. I feel like... Chastity. I feel like the, the localizers were just all... Man, this guy uses fat words in the original JP. Like, old... Uh -huh. So they were just like, you know what? We're just gonna find, like, the most obscurely English... Old... Old English... Um... <laughs> like words and just shove it into this guy's speech <laughs> Persp perspicacity 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 okay has been left wanting yeah yeah I think he's trying to say he doesn't have any information don't, All right. don't let me ever read that word ever again <laughs> perspicacity <laughs> oh, the charming old lady responsible for security Miss Adrian Andrews Huh? You know her? Yes, well, I should. She was the one who hired me for this job. A very intelligent woman. After all, she hired Detective Luke at me, did she not? I'm not entirely convinced that was an intelligent move on her part. <laughs> Do you know about this detective? Oh, him. Yes, well, I saw him earlier. That wretched detective detective has let this thief slip through his fingers every single time. I mean. Wretched, huh? Now that I think about it, I wonder if they aren't working together. Huh? If you ask me, look at me. I believe the two of the them are co-conspirators. The detective Gumshoe heard that, he'd probably cry. <laughs> yeah, he probably would. <laughs> he probably would. <laughs> He's a surprisingly sensitive guy. Um, uh, what, what do you know about me? <laughs> That's pretty amazing the way uh, you were able to tell what I do for a living. Oh, that's elementary, my dear right? Elementary. If you're really interested, the first clue was the hair. It's all backwards. It shows you're prepared to take on an attack such as for a criminal. And from your clothes, I knew you were a policeman, so I deduced you were a lawyer. You weren't a policeman. After a combination of logic and intuition's body, only the truth remains. Oh, gosh. Wow, impressive. Or maybe you just took a look at the attorney's badge on your lap, old genius. Yeah, because I keep showing it off. <laughs> oh, look at- did you see his thing? Um, you gotta go back and read his little info thing. I just realized it updated. Okay, <laughs> alright. Uh, so how did you know I was a spirit medium? He looked at your costume. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at your costume? Oh, your that was child's media. play. First, your hair. It's not the type one sees every day, both rare and enchanting, almost otherworldly. I thought it likely that you were either a fortune teller or a spirit media, but I didn't quite detect the wisdom one usually sees in a fortune teller. And so, Zvadi, man left only one possibility. Well, uh, they also have a bio about me on the treasure exhibit poster. <laughs> me, what more can I say? This is my third year as a young but skilled lawyer. He's so cute. <laughs> Like, I didn't realize it changed. Does he know about Pearl? No. Nah, he doesn't. <laughs> perfect cat- purpose- perfect- <laughs> I forgot how to pronounce it. Perspicacity, I think. Perspicacity. <laughs> Perspicacity. Uh, hideout. Uh, don't mind me while I just grab this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Mine was right. Hey, Nick! Remember what Detective Atme said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what he said. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear his voice. <laughs> a green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay. Just swiping it right Let's in front of the wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> While she's just, I don't know, drinking water or whatever. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring 50k! 50k! <laughs> the, the, this is a blackmail letter. Sure looks like a major clue, alright. Written with a fountain pen. Mm. Found in Ron's room. But why it's so specific on the pen? That's important. <laughs> right. We need to find a pen. Oh. 
<laughs> Hello. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take a, but a second, I promise. Who is it? Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. I have a bad feeling. Really? Okay. I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Oh, God. If I think of what it is. Oh, no. It is Wait who I think it is. I know that voice. Oh, Nikki boy. I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah! You! You're... <laughs> Nick! It's you! And Maya, too! What a fluke! Uh, Larry! Long time no see! What? You know each other? N Nicky boy? Nick! Do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? Something? You mean, oh gosh. <laughs> I underestimated you, Nick. Gorgeous lady like this. And married too? Way to go, dude! I don't think that's something to be proud of. <laughs> oh god, what is his outfit? I knew it, just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. KB security. He's a security guard. Was he the security guard that was on that night? Oh gosh. <laughs> Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. That's so mean. Hey man, that wasn't nice. I was your very first client. We've got uh, quite the storied history, he and I. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Oh, it smells alright. Hey, come on now! You're embarrassing me! And in front of this pretty little thing here. So you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. I like how she's just casually having these strangers hanging out in her house. No! <laughs> nice girl, that Dusty. So how you been, Nick? Too busy if you really want to know. Larry. So what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from you. And what's with those clothes? You look, well, weird. Hey man, that's what I'm called for. This is my uniform for my part-time job. But I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you, <laughs> women, I don't trust them anymore. Oh. You got dumped again? Well, you know Benifer? I followed her all the way to Japan two years ago. Ben Benifer? Why is Benifer in Japan? <laughs> what, what kind of name is Benifer? What parents thought that was a great name? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I met the famous Caddy Tom and my whole life changed. Benifer? Caddy Tom? I never, I never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude, Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Well, actually... Anyway, sounds like you had a quite the adventure. Women! They're so... so... Ah! Oh, but, but, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. Why are you here? So what are you doing here anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Well, actually, I picked this up last night while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night? Yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. I'm by Larry and his part-time security jobs company building Night of the Crime. Ron's wallet. Ron's wallet? H hang on, let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. Yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? Hey, Nick! Is that what you're thinking at all? Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, no way, man! I mean, she's a married woman! That's just bad news! He really is here just to check out Miss Delight. So, you said you found it at your job, right? 
Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Chicks just love a guy in a uniform, you know? Security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about. Wallet. So what time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking about that? Trying to see if I got an alibi? Um, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around 1 o'clock in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What was Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. After all, he works there. He, he works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure, here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. Oh. What's his card? It's a key card for the security company. See? It's got a serial number on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? That's right! Why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Larry. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does he talk about this delight? Oh, gosh, probably. <laughs> that Dusty is one awesome lady, alright. It's been a long time since I felt this way. I think I'm really in love this time. Weren't you crying about women? A, <laughs> a long time, huh? Yeah, well, er, except for what I feel for you, Maya. I don't think he, even he knows what he's saying anymore. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> well, I mean, you kind of know about Ron. No? He, he, what? You, you found his wallet! <laughs> Ugh, he's got nothing to say. Alright, alright, Larry. Fine. Is there anything else? Talk about yourself. Even you could learn a few tricks from me, Nick. Yeah, like what? Look at my hair, for example. It points up straight, right? But your hair, on the other hand, points backwards. That's no good at all, man. It's defeatist. You gotta aim high. For the stars! <laughs> I can't find a card counter argument for that. <laughs> okay. It does. <laughs> um... I had to do something. What was it? Oh, wallet. <laughs> yeah, is he, he- No, he's not back. Um... Oh, well, try- Maybe go oh. to- Go back, maybe present it to him. Yeah, maybe. Sometimes that works. Mm -hmm. um, this... You didn't touch anything in the wallet, did you? Hey man, be serious! You know what I was interested in. If Mask started Mask doesn't look out, he's gonna be the victim of a robbery himself. <laughs> Jeez. Talk about yeah. So you're sure about this key card? Yep, that's the key card we use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. Huh? You needed to get into the room and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. CEO's office? It leaves a record? Yeah, it tells you who exactly... It tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data! Whoa, slow down, man! Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. If I lost this job, I'd never have a chance with Desi. It's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. Huh. Okay. Why does he have such a high-level card? That is a good question. Blackmail. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. Hey, you didn't red read diamond. that, Maya. And you said, yeah, you left the last part out, Maya! <laughs> you red said diamond? It. I want red diamond. Um, do you know about this? No. Okay. Probably doesn't know about the crime stuff. Hmm. 
No, I don't think so. Is there a red diamond in here? <laughs> Anything new? No. Wait, can you pull up a what's her face's profile, Desi? Like, as a present button? No, 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 no. Just pull up her profile. I'm just curious. Hmm. 23! So Wait, did I mention that? They're both 23. Wow. They... An appropriate wow. relationship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I'm curious now. Um... Maybe... I wonder, go to... A warehouse, maybe? I was just gonna move everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the... Uh, uh, this thing. Actually, Does she know do you have it? anything? No. Oh, wait. She's oh, a lost yeah, cause. I forgot. Right. She's <laughs> busy crying. Uh, can you at least tell me something about it? No, okay. Ne never mind. Wait, ne what never about... Mind. Can you present uh, Larry to her? If he was around? I don't think so, but... Never mind. No. Never mind. Just, just forget her. You should forget about her. Just She's forget too far it. gone! <laughs> Nothing here. Okay, there's no, like, keycard thingy, right? Oh. We were here with Miss Andrews last night. The statue wasn't where it is now. Uh... Sorry. <laughs> I thought we like read through this, but maybe I not. not. Maybe he didn't like being watched by Mystic Ami while he sold the urn. Hey, cut it out. You're giving me that creeps with the... You're giving me the creeps with that kind of talk. <laughs> okay, so that was... It looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There's something suspicious about this paint mark. The bottom left, so hard of it is shaped oddly and it's shockingly pink. I don't see how the color of the paint is in any. I don't see how the color of the paint is in any way important. Ugh. Wait. Hmm. Precious urn was right there on the door. Uh... Yeah, and according to the security camera data. Someone was in there last night. <laughs> I'd like to do to him. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, go go scroll to the other side. What if? Okay. Here's my thought. How, how did the pink get on there? Right. Uh huh. What if? What if the urn was never in there in the first place? Because it was outside. Yeah. The security gate. Yeah. Um, uh, like, what if it was just sitting on that paint somehow? I mean, it was. If it was there, it was sitting there for several days. Why was it out there? <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> that's know. that's the only thing, though. That's why I'm like, uh, if it was always inside there, then there's no way. <laughs> I don't know. That's interesting that we do get new dialogue options, though. Yeah. The shutter didn't go yeah. off. Hmm. Huh? It says Property of Lordly Taylor on it. Who is this Lordly Taylor? I don't like his name. <laughs> so it's borrowed? Kind of a stretch for an ace detective, don't you think? Interesting. Interesting. I was like, maybe be. the key card could work on these things, but no, I guess not. No. Well, good to know that there's new dialogue options, I guess. Hmm. I guess. But I need to talk to people. Mm -hmm. I think, probably. Um, excuse me, Adrian Andrews. Are you back? No, you're not back. Oh no, wrong button. <laughs> Who else can we ask to verify then? Aside from you. Aside from you. Unless I missed something. No, I didn't. <laughs> you maybe? 
Okay. Present the, the wallet. Oh, and the envelope. Oh yeah, um, the uh, envelope, I guess, too. Uh, let's do this first. Nope, okay. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. What about his wallet? No? Okay. Oh my gosh, you told me about this! You did- ah! What? Yeah, why did- Huh? 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 huh. Ask him about the picture. Oh, oh I, I'm gonna strangle you, man. I'm gonna strangle you! <laughs> okay. Actually the least helpful. Anyways. <laughs> um uh, wait. Where's that picture? Do you know anything about this? No? Okay, never mind then. I guess I don't know if you were actually there at the scene of the crime, but well no. You found the wallet. But okay, he says that he found the wallet at the KB security place, so I don't think he was there at all. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Because at first I thought he was the security guard, but now I'm starting to think maybe it was Ron that was the security guard? That... That's who at me took his place, right? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I'm, I'm a little confused about... Oh, you, you gotta... You gotta crack somewhere, Miss Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there has to be something that triggers her. Something! No! Ms. Andrews, please! Huh. No. Okay. Maybe not. Okay. Um... Where have I not gone? I feel like I've gone everywhere, so I guess I'm missing presenting something. Yeah. Is it... Okay, just talk to Maya. Nope. Everything's already talked out. <laughs> Shacks. Maybe we have to wait for Pearly to come back and we have to trigger that somehow. But I don't uh, know. How do we trigger that? I can't believe you're just chilling at this place. Right? Um, what else could I present? Uh... Present at me. Oh wait, no, you already did, right? Did I? I don't remember. No. Okay, Andrews. Whoa! Who is this? Come on, man! Don't hold out on me! <laughs> Forget about it. It's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know- Hey now! I thought we were pals! I got a major thing for girls with black sleeveless shirts and glasses. How do you know that? And if they have an orange colored memo pad, I really lose my cool. What? He has to be making that up. He can't really know Adrian, can he? Do what? I have to present Larry Butts to Adrian now? <laughs> no way, real? I thought you did. And she was just like, eh. I don't know if I did. I think <laughs> maybe you I did. I think you did. Oh, 26 wow, you just out us? Okay. <laughs> don't you think it's. How about time you took a long, hard look at your life? Kind of from a guy who can only brag about how many times he's been rejected. I find that kind of ironic. <laughs> okay, okay, so we we did present already. Hmm. Mm, what am I missing? Do you know about this? No. Oh wait. Oh, that was kind of new. <laughs> that was kind of new. Oh, Maya. Oh, the what about the mumbo jumbo? Ah, of course, Maya is a different story. Talk about your mixed messages. Okay, maybe. Oh, okay. Is it... oh, okay, nah, so it's like. One. Yeah. Maybe the urn. Try the urn. Yeah, okay. It's still the same thing. It's all under Korean Village Treasures. Yeah. Calling card? Did I do calling card? He doesn't care. All right. Mm. Okay. Um. Boop, 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 boop. 
I want to talk to Ron again, but I can't. I know. I don't know how we can move on from here. What am I missing? I know. We're not gonna end this investigation until we do. I know. Um. It has to be this guy, right? I already tried those three things. I already tried the picture. We've tried all of those already. I know. I don't think he's useful anymore. Maybe oh, a profile? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. His perspicacity. What is about Desi? I think he already did Desi, but do it no. again! I think he's done telling me more stuff. Yeah. He has too much pers perspicacity. <laughs> I don't think we're using the word right, but whatever. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, am I supposed to present something to Maya? This thing? No, Maya, please! Oh, I didn't mean to press that! How about you present the statue again to her? The statue? Yeah. You know, even I did uh, blah, blah, blah. No training. Scattered all over the country. Okay. <laughs> we're just, like, not even dialoguing anymore. No, because we're trying to figure this out! Oh, you mean he's not masked the mask? Oh. Wow, I just believe the wife. Okay. It starts tomorrow, but I can't trigger tomorrow. No. Um. I don't have much to say about that. Oh. I think it's only with anything with the crane stuff that she'll respond to. You hit me with this. How could you? Tragedy. Well, I'd be mad too if someone bent me the way they bent the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Calling card. Yep. So it's a real thing. Oh, well, look at this mask and you know it's the real deal, pal. Wow, is there really uh... like no new place to move? No. That's about Larry. <laughs> What am I missing? Mm. It's like there's nothing in the detention center. It's all empty still. I know, I was hoping that the basement would trigger them to come back, but I guess not. Adrian, please! <laughs> oh, Adrian's done, dude. There's nothing we can get out of her. <laughs> Oh wait, now that Atme is back at his home, can we ask him about the stuff inside his house and maybe he'll talk more? Hmm. I don't wanna oh know. Oh god, is that it? Oh no, I don't wanna hear him talk. <laughs> okay, right. here we go. Fireplace. Ah, there's a cold breeze coming from this earth. Fireplace. <laughs> it seems you've fallen for my little deception. You see, this fireplace consists of a rather unexpected device. Yes, a high-tech air conditioner. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you put an air conditioner in there? In the summer, it acts as an air conditioner, and in the winter, it's a heater. Isn't it clever? No. <laughs> no. Ah, so the music in this room is coming from here. Luke at me energy composed by Luke at me. This lovely device is called a gramophone. In days of your people listen to music on them. Your days of your. <laughs> ha! That's just what I thought. I told you so, Nick. What did you tell me? What do you I mean? I, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know what it she, was. She says it so confidently. I don't even know what it was! <laughs> now it's kind of like portrait of yourself you have there. 
Yes, I wanted it to say to everyone who saw it, look at me, look at me. With a model so fine, I knew the portrait would also be aesthetically pleasing. Um, that's nice. Um. Oh my god, it's nothing. It's nothing! What else? What else? Could he- will he talk more? I don't know. Oh! Again? Okay. Is, is that- was that, that it? Was it? <laughs> oh, God. So we're gonna blackmail letter, huh? Do you think Mrs. Light knows about this? We read it right in front of her. Well, if she did, I don't think she would be- would have been smiling like that. I wonder if we should tell her about it. I think it'd be smarter if we didn't. <laughs> okay. Now. Ron- Ron Delight. Now, back to the detention center. Yeah. No! no! <laughs> oh, come on! Um... No. What else can we do? Smile. I don't know, I just like to check marks. Mm hmm <laughs> Making funny faces, okay. He was bored uh, yeah, having to guard an empty room. What? Uh, uh, I'm like this close to looking it up. <laughs> All right, back, back in the basement. No, nothing. Okay. Well, I don't know. Check it again. Just do it. Do, do, check. Do, do, just check everything again. Check, check everything again. I well, I don't don't click on it if it has a uh, thingy, but like. Just hover and see if there's anything hover. potentially new. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's over. Oh, yeah. What am I missing? Okay, we gotta Why trigger Andrews. Dumb? Trigger Andrews. Somehow. And Talk to her. Somehow. Oh my God, no. Larry oh. Butts. I'm kidding. But he mentioned you. No. <laughs> it's over. She doesn't even respond to anything. Present yourself. <laughs> no, it's over. Oh man, what else? Hmm. Um. <laughs> I miss the update with with some butts. <sighs> I don't know, cause you presented everything that butts would know. Uh. I wish we could talk to what's her face again, Desiree. Yeah, I don't know where she is. Where'd she go, man? <laughs> mm. 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 I'm... I'm so tempted. <laughs> I know, I'm so tempted on looking it up. We, we can't be this dumb, can we? I... Kids I mean, play this game, yeah. right? <laughs> I played this game as a kid, and I still don't even know how I got through it. Oh, God. Um, what else are we missing? Aside from Pearly, who apparently went out to... to do... detective work. Pearls to Maya. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, oh, actually, do it! The wrong, wrong one. <laughs> Wrong place. Let's present pearls to Maya. Where is she? I'm sorry, what Pearly said was she said. Oh, uh, no, it's fine. Yeah. It's nothing. <laughs> I'm going to have to move things over. No. no. <laughs> okay. It can't. It can't be something difficult. No. What I got my evidence record. What is this? Nothing important. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Do you see that time? Yeah, 58. I mean, it's close to 1 o'clock. Yeah, but it's not 1 o'clock, and you know how they are in these Ace Attorney games. <laughs> It'll be upset by one second point. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, because it. Seven. Wait, 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 because look, 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 look. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, okay. Going back, going back. You see, go to the one before it. It says around oh, 1 a.m. I hate that. Around. It needs to 1 say 1 a.m. <laughs> around 1 a.m. Oh. KB security at 1 a.m. But why are they down in the... I mean, guess this would be his alibi. Like, uh, yeah, I guess that would be his alibi. Larry, night of the crime. I thought that after talking with Larry, we'd be able to go to the KB security, but... I guess not. Mm. My all important badge shows that I am a defense attorney. He's so proud of it. Do we have the item at least, Terry? Or is it still something we have to get? Okay. That's what I figured, but I'm like, I don't. Nah, I think it's at me. At me. But then I'm like, he don't want to talk at me. <laughs> you don't want to talk. What else have we not presented to him? Talk at me, at me. <laughs> okay, present the time card. Or, I don't know, present everything. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm a defense attorney? <laughs> You know what? Have you shown your thing? You have, right? I'm pretty sure you have. My my badge? Yeah, yeah. To who? Him. Uh, yeah, a while ago. That's what I thought. Uh, present everything you said. Yes. I know he's gonna yell at us. But... I don't know. Somebody has to break. <laughs> Somebody has to break! <laughs> Oh, wait, I already did this one. If it's not at me... You got whacked on this. If it's not at me, it's butts. Is it? Is it an item we have to present, not a person? <laughs> that, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's an item. But you would think of all things, it would be the green envelope. Oh yeah, you was told the one me that about it, it. You're so stupid at me! Hmm? Okay, and I know we did some of the profiles too already. Because yeah. I know sometimes profiles botch me up also. Do you, do you want me to present profiles too? No, because we already did most of them, right? He didn't yeah. respond to Desiree though, correct? Uh... Not, not anymore. Yeah. I think we did before, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did, but... I'm just double checking. What did he did say about that? Master Mask? Uh, Master Mask. Final Heist. Yeah, I remember presenting this. I do remember presenting that too. But then what does he say about what's his face? That he's just a wet willy. Wet paper bag? Yeah. This guy? Yeah, wet paper On bag. The light. Yeah, we already did this one too. Uh, this is where we got the hand about the green envelope, no? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hmm. Okay. Try it. Right, try what's his face. Larry. Yeah. Try Larry. Alright, Larry. You gotta have I'm something. A journey. <laughs> okay. Um, Maybe the time. No, wait, no. I already, I already presented the. He did. All the brain stuff. Yeah. Mm. Right. No. Envelope. Mm. 
No. Okay, no way. <laughs> what? So why is he related to this? I guess you know about KB the KB security? You're right. Shit. Shocks. Hey, Larry, what about this? What? Has he got something to say that's say it already? Huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? <laughs> what? What? I don't know anything about Alexis, and that's the truth. Alexis? Who, who's Alexis? Huh? What? I can't believe you do this to me. I thought you were my friend. Fifty thousand dollars. I don't have that kind of money. No, 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 no. You don't understand. This blackmail letter was for, was sent to Ron Delight. Phew, man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack, you idiot. Wait, I'm the idiot? And I was totally confused because this is KB security right on the envelope. Um, yeah, uh, so what? That's where I've got a part-time job at KB security. What? what? I don't know why there's a surprise. It's on his uniform. I know. <laughs> Sounds like Maybe they just cosplay. Really... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I really should find out some more about this KB security company. Okay, can we go there now? We, we gotta oh, talk, talk to him first. first. <laughs> KB security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work. Yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Right now. And you're having tea? So, so what are you doing here then? Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away. Jeez. Yes, yes, ugh. Anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see, about 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road anyway. Hmm, well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lord Lee Taylor, right? And it would roughly, uh, it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. Ron Delight was at KB Security when the robbery occurred then. Whoa. Then he could have stolen the urn. Do, 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 do. Hey, Nick, your phone. Do, 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 do. Hello? Is this the right residence? It's the right phone. <laughs> ah, Pearls, where are you? I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to try to find some more clues, but... I'm afraid I've gotten lost. Well, shucks. What? Find you your way back, Nick? <laughs> Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office? That person? Who? Is it at me? It's at me. Um... That <laughs> a person who doesn't act like his age and always has body when he is excited. Look at me, Ace Detective. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. Alright. I'm a little scared. Beep. Alright, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. What? what, what? That phone call just now. It sounded like a real cutie. Oh. Larry. Larry. Bond no. <laughs> I'm not gonna give it. I'm not gonna. <laughs> no comment. Say goodbye to Mr. Light for me, would you, Larry? Yeah, no. Bad. Bad. Bad, Larry. <laughs> Something new. <laughs> Finally, good heavens. Ah, Mr. Nick. Mystic Maya. Pearly! I never thought I'd see the two of you again. Ugh. Wah! <laughs> I know. So is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes, when I arrived here, there wasn't a single soul in sight. Suspicious. Say, Nick? Doesn't it look like something's changed since we were here last? Now that you mention it. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda yeah, like, like right this, in your face. Like oh. like this portrait right here. It looks different, don't you think? No? The angle. No, you know, the, he just the adjusted it. Chemistry set looks different too. I'm pretty sure that was blue. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What's this? 
This bag? I'm sure it wasn't here before. <laughs> Time to skulk. <laughs> it looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. Hey, Nick. Come on. Open it up. Why are you waiting for my permission? Just do it. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open open his private property. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Don't be such a... Oh, don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. That's true. And truth be told, I have to admit, I am kind of curious. Well, what's in there? Magic tricks. Hey, hang on a sec. I'm not... I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there! Ah! He's here! What are you doing, Sir Lawyer? Uh, I thought you were gone. <laughs> I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. flagrantly. Blah, blah, blah. I I'm really sorry. Maya made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Blame the child. Nick, I can't believe you! A gentleman never uses a lady as a poor excuse for his own poor behavior. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lolly gagging about here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial, Zvadi! Shall we say the figure of Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? What? Um, Who? Wow, the Nick. Figure of Sir William. <laughs> sounds like it's gonna be really exciting. Okay, ignore you and just. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess. <laughs> He'll probably stop me, but do it, do it, do it. So what's in there, Nick? What's the back? Wait. The way at me barged in like that, I never actually got the chance to look. I know. I was gonna collapse of shock too. But from the feel of it, it was something hard. A red jewel that was stolen. It said it was smooth though, right? Hard oh. and smooth and heavy. Jewels can be smooth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm curious. Um, what's going to happen at the tr trial tomorrow? That's so dramatic. Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? I'm listening to you. <laughs> it was becoming a lawyer in the first place. Wow, rude. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. Don't listen to him, Pearly. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow will be a day to remember. I, Luke, at me, will take the stand. I will look forward to demolishing you, okay? <laughs> and then Zvadi, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of lots of you. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you as the thieves, co-conspirators. Man, you're also deluded. <laughs> conspirators <laughs> You're quick on the defense, I see. However... It is not I that your greatest enemy. That is your greatest enemy. <laughs> There's a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godot. 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 You have taken a step down the path of foolishness. Fool, foolish, foolish. <laughs> foolishly foolish fool. <laughs> to try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is the mask. Yeah, he didn't kill anyone, he just stole a couple of trinkets. <laughs> <laughs> My dear lady! Times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Um, 
Can I miss this Godot person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Godot, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country but in heaven. Okay. Godot, a legend or myth. Men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance of to simply meet him. Prosecutor Godot? But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Godot, it's Mr. Edgeworth! Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this! But Ace Prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. Huh? Prosecutor. <laughs> he is an ace is prosecutor. A, is, is there a game called Ace Prosecutor? <laughs> no, it's still called. Uh, actually, it's called just Miles Edward Investigations. That's it. Uh, in fact, it was Mr. Edward who acknowledged Godot as the best in this country. Can you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke at me of the prosecutor's office. That's what's like prosecutor. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Wait, that's not... Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, well, who are we cheering for now? <laughs> Mr. Nick, <laughs> is this the dome really that strong? Hmm, I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not oh. surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for this, his appearance. It's like he's a revenant, almost? I don't- <laughs> I don't know, it's interesting. It looks like we're done investigating for the day. Oh my god. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's a lawyer! The stage has been set, and all the pieces are finally in place. Time for me to unravel it. Now there remains now! It's for the dance to begin! New prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial. I don't know, I suffered at the investigative pressure! <laughs> that was... yeah, that was like three hours of our time. Jeez. A lot of dialogue. A lot of dialogue. And I think this is a good place Yay. to stop because I'm pretty sure I the trial. Everything. I know. No I know this trial is gonna be so long because it's it's the it's the dude. <laughs> the dude. It is the dude. So. Oh. Oh, good job. Good job. Oh, we're so dumb. <laughs> oh, it's okay, whatever. <laughs> At least we got it. I, I was like, there's no way. It has to be like the green envelope somewhere. I thought I presented it to Larry, but I guess not. Mm -mm. We just kind of did everything but that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. Oops. All right. So we'll do this next time when. Are you okay to do it again next week, or do you just want to skip? I mean, yeah, I'll be free next week. Okay. Same day? Wednesday? Mm, I should be free Fridays if Wednesdays is too much of a bother. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll see. I, sh I just struggle waking up on a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, which is why I'm offering Friday. I should, I should be free Fridays. That's okay. Um, okay, so I'll just be sure to reach out. So potentially Ace Attorney on Friday next week, if you guys would want to look at that. Um, again, thank you Donut for playing the game while I just sit pretty and try to voice act my heart out. I like at me. I think he's annoying. <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> uh, I think at me's all right. He's he's an interesting character. And then I completely he's something. I completely <laughs> forgot about Ron. How he's like the first encounter of of them upgrading the the engine. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shoot, they actually did more with the text than usual. That's that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about Ron. He's too. He's so wishy washy, right? He's like, yeah. 
I mean, no. I mean, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like, just give it to me straight, man. <laughs> just, just talk straight. But then it's so weird how deluded he is. I, I think they do a really good job at not making it like the twist whatever twist is coming for us it's not too obvious so i, I like it i think it's good um, i mean i don't even know what to expect i was like geez <laughs> so i'll be real i was saying this to chat earlier i don't remember anything i really don't oh. i right. i'm like trying to suffer lost. together next week <laughs> so even if it sounds like i'm saying spoilers trust me it's not spoilers i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah. don't remember anything about this case. I don't even remember that, uh, what's his face? Um, oh my god, that Godot was coming out on this case? Uh. Yeah, I didn't even remember. So, man, I'm excited. Godot is such a good character. <laughs> he just appears out of nowhere. I think it's because he's so timid. He fantasizes about being a better person than he is, I guess. Yeah, but then it feels weird knowing that his wife is kind of like a gold digger, but they actually still really like each other. <laughs> <laughs> that one's weird to me, too. The money helps. The money helps. But she does say that she's like, I'll be happy so long I have money and Ronnie. And I'm like, I, I guess that's okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so sometime next week, I'll, I'll try to announce it ahead of time. I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow. I'm debating on it. I know I put, like, question marks on there. Maybe. If if I, I'm up late and I have time, I probably will be drawing tomorrow. It'll likely be, like, a low-energy kind of stream. Um, because I want to work on some art pieces that I have prepared for Art Fight, so... Yeah, more on that tomorrow, if I do stream. If I don't, then I'm probably dead. In my bed. Just chillin'. Um, but for sure, Friday, I, I will be back. I will be back on streaming on Friday. Likely around the same time, maybe a little earlier. So, yeah. Thank you for streaming, Yay. Donut. That was good. Thank you for wanting to play with me, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, even though we making just- Making me suffer every- making me wait <laughs> once a week. <laughs> I know! Yeah, yeah, I, I, now you see. Now you see what I do. I, I wait, I, I do one section, and then I wait for the next week. Forget everything. Struggle. <laughs> That's so funny, because I'm just like, God, I don't remember anything from last week. What did they say? It's so funny, no, no. though. I have good memory. I can make up for it. Probably. Okay. I don't. I, I have Phoenix Wright logic now. I just do all the big logic jumps. No, that's true. <laughs> it's like way too early for the logic jumps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm gonna end stream. Thank you guys for watching. I'm glad that Ray yeah. was able to join us. Um, and yeah. For a brief or moment. Or later. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.